in the league, but yeah. it's still too early. I mean, yeah, summer. What the summer begins June twenty first. I don't think there's. I don't think there's going to be one. I know there's going to be a song of the We summer. can't declare it until like August. It's true. But Taliban's is in the lead. I'm going to say that yeah. for now. Yeah, for sure. That means I win my bet. Money? I'm, I'm my imaginary bet. Oh. <laughs> there was no bet. <laughs> there was no bet. <laughs> Anyways, okay, let's intro this Don't episode. You have a gambling problem, so. I do have a gambling problem. Oh. <laughs> Oh, shut up. Intro me, please. I told you we're not doing... <laughs> we're not doing an intro? Well, no, well, intro, but I said, like, no, remember I said we're not doing, like, a... No, you said we're not doing a new one. I don't know if I'm getting not getting my intro at all. You, you... Rel- relentless. There you go. I'm not getting my... You get a tag. What? You get a drop. It's a drop. Rel- relentless. So what happened to my... Warner? What up, Zo? No, what? I want my intro. All right, you'll get Jesus. your intro. That's crazy. We're already 52 seconds in. Yeah, and wow. we need to hear Drake's voice. We've hit you just did, shows. right there. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Drake. Fuck you guys, whatever. I wanted my what up, Zo. <laughs> what up, Clyde? Shut up, Trey. All that bullshit. Anyways, fuck it, it's too late. Everyone, welcome <laughs> to uh, Oh, now you, okay. Relentless. You want it so bad? Damn, here. Here, nigga, damn. Relentless. Shut the fuck up, Clyde. Except Trey. <laughs> Is that so hard to ask for? There you go. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, see, now I'm back. Everyone, welcome to episode, what, 12? Thank you, Trey. <laughs> and she got her numbers right, too. Look at you. I know. Okay. Of the Relentless Diaries. Nice podcast lady. Oh, don't call me that, please. Um, I'm your main host, Zoe. Here with the guys and the girls. Here with a guest. We have Rebecca Dawn here, Hi. the queen of Toronto parties. Stop. Yeah. We'll call you that. Stop. As we get into okay. <laughs> Now you blushing already. <laughs> How you doing, everybody? Um, it's your boy Trezor, aka Riz Khalifa, aka Rizard Kelly, aka the Rizard of Oz. Okay, Mr. Flying Jiggy, uh, Clyde Smitty, the podcaster, rapper, actor, make the money come faster. You know. All right. Okay. How was you guys this week? Yeah. How what do you guys do? Rizard of Oz. Rizard of Oz is good. <laughs> I think Rizard, Rizard of Oz is great. Riz Khalifa is good. That was so a good one. one. Rizard of Oz was like, was okay. Good. Every time he does it, I hear a new one, and it's, it's, it's some special every Him time. Him Jong Yoon is still in the lead for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. one was crazy. <laughs> um, anyway, so how was my week? My week was good. I mean, t- Toronto's on fire. Right. Ontario's on fire, literally. <laughs> and it's affecting New York and Detroit. So uh, bring your masks out, not to give any PTSD, but. If the fires continue, we're going to have to wear masks outside. Got yeah. an even bigger reason for them to bring the shysties back. I <laughs> thought we were getting rid of them for the summer. <laughs> Guess not. Didn't somewhere officially ban them, like uh, like a province or something? Like Probably. Oh, really? Like an entire, yeah, I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure. I didn't know that. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we know your beef with the shysty masks. They're cracking down on the shysty masks. It's not even just the shysty. <laughs> it's the shysty <laughs> With the glasses, with the hat on yeah. top. That needs to be bad. <laughs> shiesty culture, you know? So yeah. you're okay with solo, sh- like, just the shiesty, you're okay? Depending on where. It should be, like, you know in the States where there, it says, like, no gun allowed in the mall? Like, have a yeah. little symbol? There yeah. needs to be a shiesty symbol. I'm sure they have that somewhere in establishments. America. Because mm-hmm. you shouldn't be wearing a shiesty, like, just regularly. No. Except in the winter. Yeah. Yeah. But not in the summer at all. Like, just a Nike shiesty just regularly on road? Yeah. Like, I don't but get toques that, in the like, summer at all, period. Yeah, like, toques in the summer. Winter clothes in the summer in general. <laughs> like those rolled up ones? The yeah, yeah, ones. yeah, yeah, yeah. The artsy fartsy yeah. toques. But that's yeah, like, yeah. A, like a certain demographic of people wear that. So like a certain mm. type of person wears those. I like them the in the winter. Look, I like them. I like them a lot on guys in the winter. I think they look good. I don't think I could pull it off. It's no, not your head's little. too small. <laughs> the rolled up. It doesn't matter about the small head. It's just who you are as a person. Both, because if your head is huge, you can't wear it either. No, you have to have a like a regular you size. Have to have a, I, you can't yeah, have a substantial. Big head. Yeah, you have to have a, like a decent like, size. Head. It has to like pull at the back. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know the- yeah. You know that uh, okay, this is like I've been body very, shaming the shit out of Tristan. I'm gonna say so. <laughs> I know. Last episode, little body. This episode, oh, small head. Poor thing. Small head. That's rude. It's okay. People, I, I got a DM saying that you were strong as someone said that you had more muscle than they thought you did. Hey man, you know what's crazy? People, even when I was out, so it was like, and I've heard this more than once. We were like, "Yo, man, you gotta let you can't let Zoe t- keep talking oh, to you yeah. like that." Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yo, you yeah, gotta no, let Zoe. Yeah, yeah. Yo, you gotta fight back when Zoe did it. Da. I was like, okay, let me break the fourth wall for you guys really quickly. I yo, am. This happens to me all the time. I am C O E. 
COE means content over everything. Okay. <laughs> so if something <laughs> happens got it, got it. and we can make this moment funnier by letting it run, I'm going to let it run. My ego is not fragile enough to have to fight back on everything for the sake of the content people. But you know I it's love okay. you. You know it's never like I actual. don't take it personally. Okay. People take it worse <laughs> than I do. You know it. I love yeah. both of you. Never that nothing's ever like personal <laughs> when mean, I say shit. I'll take it's your, me just kind of just like poking you guys. I'll take your word for it, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you say that. You say that. Everything sure. else that takes place, I But you know, like, sometimes it's kinda like, you know, like it's for content. I gotta like, you know. Poke you guys a little bit. That's a mantra, though, what Shasor is describing, content over everything. And that's yeah. just kind of something you need to adapt if you're going to podcast. You, could, you can't just, yeah. yeah. What did you do this week? What did I do? I, uh, I hung out with my niece and nephew on the weekend. I, like, I awesome. saw my family members. I, it was my sister-in-law's birthday. Yeah, lots of boring family stuff. You really want to know what I did this week? <laughs> the new Spider-Man movie came out. Did you see it? I didn't see it, but like... I remember how important Spider-Man and Peter Parker as a character was for me. And there wasn't a black Spider-Man, you know, mm. like when I was growing up. So I just, I see how important it is to him. And it was just fun to watch him be in Spider-Man media. But is he That's Peter cute. Parker? The black Spider-Man? Is his name Peter Parker? No, no I, don't, Miles, I don't know how it works it? at all. No, he's Miles Morales. Oh, and that's oh. like another Spider-Man. There's things it's like a different universe. universe. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's mm. a big. Multi-verse. They really f- pulled the wool over our eyes with this alternate universe thing, right? Yeah, because basically you could just take anything and turn it into anything and yeah. say it was an alternate universe. Yeah, basically. Woman Superman and the Black Spider-Man and the what's next, bro? Well, it's like a, a comic book too, right? Like Miles is a character. Like he wasn't just invented <laughs> for the movies, you know. Oh, so this was yeah. the, the the Black Spider-Man was in the comic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so what's the actual black Spider-Man? What's that's that the suit. one? That's like the symbiote. That's the alien thing. That's like the Venom. So should black Spider-Man not have a black suit? He does. <laughs> does it's black. It's like black yeah, and red. It's black and red. Oh, I've never okay. seen it. So. Oh. What did mm. you do this week, Rebecca? I started back at the gym. Cool. Uh, yeah. Pain. But you know, I pain. did do that too. I had my first workout in in, in a long time. It, I'm yeah, feeling it's you right now. difficult. It's difficult, and my body's old now, so it's like no, it, it's, no, it's like <laughs> it's 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 in, the, it's, it's in a switch. You know, like every so many years, I'm on that year where it like completely it's transitioning. It's like, girl, we can't we can't do that anymore. <sighs> it's yeah. I had a gray hair in my edges the other day. Don't even. I cut it out. Like, uh, there's no way I'm going to have gray edges. Don't there's bother. no fucking way I'm going to have gray That's where I'm going edges. gray right now. Is that edges? your first one? Or that was, you just no, I have, like, three or four. I have a, I have a couple, yeah. too. I have a so. few. Yeah. Like, they're co- like they're just coming. I'm like, you know what? I can't. <sighs> I have too many. My barber, like, be cutting my hair and saying, like, Yo, you need to relax, bro. <laughs> oh, fuck, really? Because <laughs> it's like a thing. You get gray hairs if you stress, right? So I don't yeah. know. I heard, yeah, between genetics and stress. So, yeah, I've, yeah. I have a few still. So. Yeah, yeah, it's like, tough. But... It's Toronto, and it's summer. It's, it is. And it's your time to shine mm-hmm. because yeah, you are known for throwing parties here. If you are, people, so many people like in the comments like, oh, I'm coming to Toronto. Like, Can you guys talk about things to do? This is the perfect episode for you. Yeah. Because Rebecca throws, I mean, Ludacris was just at one of her parties recently. Yeah, he was. So we'll talk about that too. Okay. But yeah, it's Toronto summer. It's parties. You know, Chisor wants to know who throws parties, the gal them or the man them, or who throws better parties, sorry, the gal them or the man them. Because, you know, Sundays, last Sunday, I saw everyone was out. I had a really bad headache on Sunday, so I didn't go out. Mm. But I saw there was a lot of good parties happening in Toronto on Sunday. So what is your take with throwing parties in the city? And don't give away your secret, obviously, but throwing Mm. successful parties and Uh, providing a good space, especially for black people here mm. in Toronto. I think you just got to set a precedent and like make it know what you're trying to do. Mm-hmm. And if you throw the event with your friends and yourself in mind, like if you throw it, like I just want me and my friends to have a good time. Yeah. Chances are everybody else that comes going to have a good time. And then that feeling is just going to continue to perpetuate mm-hmm. and like go from the next event to the next event to the next event. That is true. You can't please everyone, but if you at least do what you know, you and your people are going to enjoy. Yeah. At the very least, you guys have a good time. Mm-hmm. And if everyone that you want there is having a good time, that energy is infectious. So whoever else comes who may not know what to expect will just see everyone else having a good time. So then their guard will be down. They'll have a good time. Mm-hmm. And then. What's the hardest thing about throwing parties in Toronto? Because, I mean, there's a lot of parties that are hit and miss. Mm. A lot of them are misses. I'm not even going to hold you. Yeah. And 
also respectfully, it's, a lot of these parties are getting very expensive. They are. People are sending me links like, oh, like pull up, and it's like forty four dollars, and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> They're taking after the fets. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm All like, not even a little patty or a drink included, but it's forty seven dollars. I'm like, guys, yeah, mm. every fet ever. I'm not a fetter, so I don't really know that price range. That's new to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it, yeah, it's like it's intention. Mm. If you're only in it to like make money, or you're only in it for what. This, the quick turnaround then right. you can kind of feel that you you see what it is yeah and i also think like bottle service kind of like that culture yeah nothing against it i know people love it but also at the same I'm time like it, it, it <laughs> i don't thanks li- vince carter i don't like it right he did he did do that to us. um <laughs> i don't like it because it just creates like everyone watching each other and wanting yeah. to either one up or you're not like you're just there to like impress i don't know who yeah i don't do i don't I don't do that. Like, you can come buy bottles, but, like, I don't have bottle girls. I don't have mm, the, the show. Yeah. Like, if you're coming to my parties, you're not coming for that. You can go anywhere else. Okay, that's fair. I well, think that's I, good. I, I, like, unless someone asks for it because it's their birthday and, like, they want to make it a thing, mm-hmm. cool. But, like, regular bottles, mm-mm. you're just getting your bottle and your chase and, like, here Can you, you imagine? Go. Rebecca coming, throws a bottle on the table. And <laughs> here, <laughs> here, nigga. <damn. laughs> no, literally. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like... Yeah, one, event prices are, like, crazy now. And, like, everyone's like, oh, yeah, come here. Like, pull up here. And I'm like. Inflation, no, it's, it's expensive. I, like, but it's, yeah, the venues the here, venues too. The venues are expensive. Yeah. They're very expensive, especially if you want to throw a black party. And, like, they don't want to give you a buy. What they're going to do is they're going to tell you you have to pay out the ass. Yeah. Like, you either have to pay out the ass or you have to make out the ass. And if you don't make, like, a substantial amount of money, like, minimum 10K, Ooh. 15K some places, at the, like, at the bar, you're mm-hmm. paying the difference. Oh, fuck. So people often will make sure that they inflate their ticket prices so that just in case something yeah. comes up, they can't pay for that, then they, they have to make it. sure they cover it. Um, Damn. Or they're just charging you up front, period. Like, five grand if you want the room. Yeah. that Yeah, that includes staff and, like, all that stuff, which is great. But most people don't have five grand up, it's up front, right? So. They got to make sure they can pay that off and then pay the DJs, which mm-hmm. sometimes people don't even do. Pay photographers, pay videographers. Like, yeah, got to come from somewhere, unfortunately. Yeah. Speaking of DJs, <laughs> <laughs> why? I want to know if you've noticed this. Mm-hmm. How come a lot of DJs nowadays, and not all, because I do know some fire DJs. How come a lot of DJs are very bad at their jobs <laughs> these days? <laughs> We've talked about this so many times. Why is it a, like, how are they allowed I don't know. to keep doing this? I don't know, because... <laughs> He can't keep I don't know. Away with this. I, I don't know. I don't know. Because when I hear a bad set, like, I will go and address the DJ. I don't like hearing songs repeated in my events. I don't like any of that. And if I hear it, I will run up and be like, you already heard this. You got to switch it off now. Yeah. And, yeah, you're going to mix it out. But, like, I don't, I don't know. I feel like because I think the young kids who are going to parties now, like, their attention span is super short. Mm. So as long as they switch it up fast enough, like, they don't really – they don't really catch it. Like they don't they don't recognize how bad it is, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I don't like bad DJs. I won't hire a bad DJ. And if you fuck up a set once, I'm not hiring you again. Mm. Is that you think that's an era thing? Is it like yeah. our era who pays attention to yeah. DJs and transitions and bad song choices and stuff? I think mm-hmm. so. I, also, the older you get, too. I feel like when you're young, because there was one DJ in Toronto. Actually, I'll say it because I can't stand him. Scotty Scratch. He. Scotty Scratch? He's one of the white DJs, and he gets all the fuck. He used to get every fucking booking possible because he's a white DJ in Toronto. Okay. You said this on episode one. Oh, really? (laughs) Full circle moment. Amazing. If you're listening, he still sucks. Um, (laughs) When I was younger, though, (laughs) when I was younger, I used to think he was fire. Like, when I was, like, 19, 20, and I was like, oh, my God, like, this guy is so fire. And then I got to him, like, yo. One time I looked, like, yo, who's fucking DJ? I'm like, like, this is fucking Scotty Scratch. Like, this nigga used to be good. Not this nigga. This white man used to be good. But then I'm like... No, he actually sucks. And then the more I'm seeing him at parties, I'm like, yo, this guy actually sucks. He's actually a terrible DJ. But he's white and in Toronto, and he used to get all these bookings and all these clubs or whatever. And I'm like, bro, I could bring you five men right now who will throw this party ten times better than freaking Scotty Scratch. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know yeah. how to get away with it. I think that. when you're, like, young and hype in the clubs, you don't really care. Those when you hear a like one-two bang, it's like, okay, yeah. But when you get older, it's like, yeah, like, I'm here for a good time. This is not a good time because this DJ is Sucks. playing freaking yeah. I'm on one. And not the new one. Fetty the Wop, old the one. Fetty Wop. No, you know what? Okay. 
not you know JJK. You know what I realized? <laughs> the Fetty Wap says, I was very confused about Fetty Wap. I didn't understand it until I started doing my monthly at Cold Tea. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Because that's a very diverse crowd that, like, I don't really control outside of my ticket sales. Like, yeah. Cold Tea is, like, its very own interesting place, yeah. right? So, the crowd there, like, go off to Fetty Wap sets. And I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> like, I don't understand. <laughs> but then I realize that it's, like, their college throwback songs. Ugh. Yeah. So, like, the way, like, we go off to, like, Lil John or, like... Those guys, they're going off to Fetty Wap, and I'm like, I mean, I, I know, guess I, I just think it's I, I think like it's nostalgic it. for them. Like I just it think either. it brings like, unfortunately for us, it brings them to a place that they really like. But like that was my era. Yeah, and I don't it's still like my it. era. Yeah, that's still like our like college days, and still I'm like, yeah, this still sucks. Like I want. I don't know that. Do yeah, that. I just don't think it's good club music. Not anymore. Or it was maybe, at I one think, point. Yeah, I think maybe it's just because it's such a go to. Yeah, maybe. Like the the early 2010s Fetty Wap set, yeah, it's such a go to. I don't like it. Also, I think it's the the rise of the pretty Instagram model DJ, mm-hmm. which is kind of diluting the market as well. Because they get booked they get, a lot because they're pretty, because they're, they're pretty and they're at. women, and they probably shake their titties. Who's that DJ on Instagram who like shakes her titties? I, I in know the booth? you've I've seen and that. someone's like she hasn't touched she hasn't touched this turntable once, <laughs> but she just sits there and just sh- who is she? I don't she's know like who, a, I, I think she's like an African DJ. I have no idea. I think I think I know who you're talking about. Is it? It's not Uncle Waffles. Uncle Waffles is. I think a Uncle little, Waffles is actually talented. Yeah, I, it's another one. But she's just in the booth. She gets those. Sh- like, it, Uncle Waffles is good. It's not her. I don't know, but she was in the booth just shaking her titties and shaking ass, and someone's like, "Yo, she has not changed the song or transitioned one time, but she's getting paid <laughs> thousands of dollars thousands to of be dollars. here." Yeah, I don't know. I don't mm-hmm. like that, bro. It's not fair because there's people that are actually sick mm-hmm. that you are not looking their way, but because this girl's bad, you're gonna give her. This booking because yeah. you think she's gonna let you smash. Sometimes though, also DJs are so good that the crowd doesn't know what to do with them. I think like, that's true. That like is they true. do too yeah. much. But not that they do too much because they don't do too much, but it's like their transitions are so dope, their mixes are so dope mm. that like don't know. the crowd is like they're he, it's it. so smooth to the point where they're like, I don't know like if I'm dancing to the lyrics of this song. <laughs> I don't know if I'm dancing to the beat of this song. Like, and then they just kind of start to enjoy the vibe versus like actually like. Yeah. dance and like go off because they don't really know mm-hmm. what to do with it which I is interesting that. too because like i'm here enjoying everything i'm hearing like screwing up my face like yeah <laughs> like dapping up the dj like going off but mm. they're just like yeah yeah it's it's interesting it's really interesting i think that's when you like or i think that's when djs are more so playing for themselves than the crowd but i don't mind yeah. that though because yeah no it's good but you have to know that this crowd is not going to realize right. that you took this vocal and put it with this, <laughs> with this right, right, instrumental right, right. at this bpm <laughs> yeah yeah so you kind of got it you got to play to the crowd so yeah. yeah yeah that is very true but no all bad djs should be canceled like should be canceled. I mean, they I mean, they canceled. can find other other. They'll always find a job, somewhere. jobs and stuff. I just, I'm not with hiring people who good don't yeah. know what they're doing. But ludicrous. ludicrous. How did that happen? Ludicrous. Because, so ludicrous. There, there's a Toronto. Okay, yeah, Toronto based party. But you guys also travel. We do travel. Yeah, but, called yeah. that slow jam party. I've yet to been to one because every time I hear about the party, it's already sold out. It's a hot commodity. Every, every time single I time, it's like. Tickets already sold. And I'm like, when the fuck did they go on sale? I went to one. Really? Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> and I didn't I didn't get out. At I least was, you made it there. You were you were sent for as well, but you weren't around, I think. I don't know. It was something like that. Or you were busy. Or maybe I was busy or traveling or you something were like busy. that. Yeah. Because he asked me like to tell you as well. Oh. I feel like I also told you to come to this. You did, but I also one. think I was traveling again. Okay. Anyway, so that's on you. <laughs> that is on me. The rest of us but are just I'm, sitting I'm a, at home. I'm a, no, I'm going to cash in my my one trip to the slow jam party. Because when I saw him, I'm like, fuck, ludicrous. So, anyways, how did that happen? Because he was in, it was the that slow jam party, pajama edition. Mm-hmm. He was in pajamas, which means he was obviously invited in or knew about the event. He was on theme. Full braid up. <laughs> also, why the obviously Toronto's Throwback a hot spot, ludicrous. but how the fuck did Ludacris end up in Toronto? Like, were how, they tell doing us what Fast happened. And Furious movie, promo? probably. I think that, they were. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot happening. So he was in town for Janet's concert. He opened for her. So oh, okay. He was here early because he was opening for her. I think the next day. Oh, okay. Or maybe two days later, mm-hmm. but yeah, he was opening for her. So that's why he was here. But they were also doing promo for 
the Fast movie because Vin Diesel was also here. Yes, I saw that. Yeah. So we had gotten a message in the afternoon saying like, oh, he might come through with his management. We don't know. Like, just prepare just in case. We're like, okay, cool. Like mm-hmm. just randomly or like yeah. you guys had people that were plugged in with I think I think Marlon knew someone who knew someone and like just mm. let them know about the party and then was like, okay, we may come. They didn't really know for sure or not. There's like whatever so like okay cool Mm -hmm. um and then we got to the venue and they're like okay so he's coming um so we have to like rearrange the booths he doesn't really want to be seen we're gonna put him upstairs we'll put him in the green room too and let him kind of like decide how he wants Mm -hmm. to how he wants his night how he wants the night to go but the booth is set for him there whatever whatever like okay cool so he shows up and like him and his manager were standing on the balcony for like three and a half maybe four minutes marlon and i had noticed that he was there but we weren't going to make like a big scene about it mm-hmm. um and so marlon just tried to get the crowd more and more hype which obviously he did because that's he's great at that's his job yeah. um so they're thinking they were singing like tevin campbell or something and then his manager comes downstairs and we're automatically assuming like okay he wants to just come beyond the stage and like feel the vibe because like yeah it's a, it's a proper party like if you've been mm-hmm. there like everyone's singing like the energy's proper and they're like Luna wants to perform Lovers and Friends. We're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> We're like, uh, okay, like, absolutely, because that's one of our staple songs. Like, we play it yeah. every party. Everyone sings it like it's one of the, mm-hmm. the go-tos. So we're like, absolutely, like, 100%. So <laughs> Holy. they're like, okay, we'll come let you know when he's ready. We're like, all right. But it just so happened the sweatsuit he's in looks like pajamas. It's oh, okay. So he didn't, yeah, he wasn't yeah, even trying no, to. Okay. It was all just like universe connected, yeah. like weird shit. Just everything like, just like. Because this is when it's so sad. I'm like, yeah, he's no, on it, <laughs> it was just a sweatsuit. Like, yeah. I don't think that part was intentional at all. Mm. Um, And then, so we're like, all right, we'll let you know. He'll they're like, we'll let, we'll let you know when he's ready and then just play the song and we'll hand him the mic off stage and he'll come out on his verse and that's it. Like, surprise. But, yeah. So. That happened, and, like, everyone was obviously going off. Like, mm-hmm. we had no idea it was going to happen. And I guess his manager and Jester had been talking, so they had already planned to also do Splash Waterfalls. Oh, my God. So Which is a banger. Which, <laughs> a banger, <laughs> Huge bro. banger. So, like, he takes a second, tells us about his star or whatever. He's like, I don't know what else I got, but let me see. So then they play Splash Waterfalls, and, like, their crowd is, like... Oh, my God. Like, I can imagine. Tom- like it was so loud. I I've, I've never heard it so loud before in my life. Wow. It was so dope. And then he turns around and asks for another song. <laughs> and we're like, nigga, what? Okay. He's, he's talking like, oh my God. Oh my God. Like, oh my he's God. like, he's like, L-U-D. L-U-D. <laughs> I know this is the C boy, but that is the mark of a good DJ. Yeah. Because yeah. even if he didn't have the songs, from when that first song is on, you have like, yo, yo just in case I got to get that's his crazy, catalog. Like, imagine you're a DJ, right? Okay, so you know he's doing Lovers and Friends. You know he's doing Splash Waterfalls. Imagine he goes goes one more. What, like, what's the next? What do you guys play? You have to, as a good DJ, you have to no, have literally. that song in your head already. I would be like, fuck. I would be like, you fuck. can't crush, you can't <laughs> crumble song, in that fuck. moment. You have that has to be a seamless transition. Because literally, what do you play? Like, what's your next song? For Ludacris? Yeah. He already did Splash Waddle Falls. He just did Lovers and Friends. What's your next song? Probably it depends. His verse on Yeah, maybe. Like, I don't <laughs> know. No, no but what's no, your that's song? what I was going to say. <laughs> I don't it know. Depends. I feel like it's on stage, like an R&B. I'm thinking and R&B, Luda. Yeah. No, but that's yeah. what I was saying. It depends. Are we staying R&B or like, is the crowd hyped enough to where what, if I drop I a hear banger Luda right before. now? I think for, for, in my <laughs> brain, go I would up. drop a banger. Like, Get Back would get it up, you know? Yeah. You know, but like, yeah, I, I'm saying R&B. Yeah. Or stand up. Okay, so what did he end up performing? What's his third song? Fantasy. Ah, that's, yeah. a, that's a really that's good, a good one. one. Yeah, that's and that was on the choice. DJ's accord. Like he just played fantasy. Yeah, he just picked it, and then oh, that's smart. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. The energy was, can, he was proper. Can't wait. Mm. As yeah. soon as he says that, you have to. You yeah, have to have that. That'd be sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But just like, like, <laughs> like, what the fuck am the I DJ? supposed to do? <laughs> but yeah, Jester's brilliant. So yeah. like, he also like cut the track on lovers and friends so that his verse started like inadvertently so like he yeah it was it was great good dj he's a a perfect dj he had he had everything he was brilliant so damn yeah he just did that quick the only other track i wish we could have potentially got was his verse on O, because like yeah yeah that would have been fun that's a banger but 
he did fantasy and he's like, all right, I'm going to go party with y'all. And then just dipped off. And I was like, yo, that did was. Did he go like into his booth or did he go back in like his little private? No, nah, he went upstairs for a little bit and mm. I think he just dipped off. I wasn't okay. trying to like stare and see what yeah, he was doing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I don't know how long he stayed up there for, mm-hmm. but I know his team was there for like the duration of the night. Oh, okay. So nice. I'm sure he was lingering around somewhere. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. really good. It was Congratulations. Re- thank you. Sweet. It was really That's was a really, really good cool. look. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, when I saw it, I was like, God like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> that was like another one. I fucking missed. Yo, it was so nice. But nuts. it was really good. It was so nuts. It, the videos looked amazing. Yeah. But I feel like that should happen more often. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Especially now, you know, Toronto summer. We only got three yeah. months to make a splash. But the thing that I, I don't no like. Pun intended. The thing that I don't like is how Toronto's one of those cities where celebrities are always here but mm-hmm. you never know like I know. people always move in silence in toronto mm-hmm. you could be somewhere they else because they can and see people out no but even just like walking around like yeah. if you go to la or miami or new york you'll probably see someone just casually but yeah. here you never see anybody That's and true. unless you know you never know that people are here but yeah, sometimes yeah. you tune into a Raptors game and then like the front row just be like with crazy celebrities yeah, like, yeah. why is this person here except yeah. jason momoa he was always around ozington when they were when they were here Oh really? Yeah, yeah he was uh, he was out in these uh. streets. <laughs> <laughs> the white women were out going. Imagine Yo. being Joe. You take a shot. You turn around. It's Aquaman or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, but yeah. I don't know. I feel like yeah, Toronto is like that. But yeah, I feel like a lot of celebrities come here and expect to very fly under the radar because yeah. they know Toronto's not crazy. Like, no, do like, they not rate us? Because even like shows, <laughs> even like shows, if you are at a concert or even a party in LA that a rapper is performing at, there's a good chance that one of his friends is coming out too. Yeah. Mm. But that doesn't happen here. Yeah, no, I don't think they rate no, us. No, they're going to bring out Drake. <laughs> It's always Drake. It's and always even Drake. that is not even always. There's not been always. some times where it's like you're waiting for Drake to come and he never comes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Facts. Big facts. So I don't know why. Bro. I don't yeah. know. I just don't. I feel like if you go to a show at History, which is a Toronto venue here that I'm pretty sure Drake funded or mm-hmm. like he owns. He has a hand in If it. you go to an event at History in Toronto, you're if if the person who's performing has a song or a relationship with Drake, nine times out of ten, Drake's coming out. I'm not even joking you. Drake has been out at his three so many times. So many times of people just because he knows them or he has a song with them and he'll just come out. Yeah. And apparently he doesn't really give notice either. Like he'll show up and be like, yo, play this track next. And they're like, <laughs> and yeah. he's like what are you going to say? <laughs> no. Exactly. <laughs> right. He okay. did like a similar thing, kind of like what you're talking about at Ryerson, where he came mm. out and was supposed to do one song. They paid him for like one song, but ended up doing like six yeah. or something like yeah. that. And that's obviously a testament to the party they were throwing, right? right. I remember, they want to stay I remember that. Yeah, Those dope. tickets were went $10. so fast. No, but they went so fast because everyone assumed Drake was going to come because mm-hmm. Future was there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I tried that. so hard to get those. This was what, 2015? The Ryerson 2015 University? Was, yeah. September. It was yeah. Frosh. Yeah. Yeah. Was that around the Jungle Tour time? That's why Future was here too? Or was that before that? That, that was the same year, but I think that... I think it was before, no? Actually, no, it was around the same time because that was in the summer, wasn't it? When they... Then they yeah, did they did Jungle yeah. Tour in the summer, but I just don't remember. Mm. Yeah, My years so it was off. around the same time. Yeah. I don't know. I just I feel like collectively we need more of those types of... More pop I want those kinds of moments. moments. Like, yeah. that's... One, like, we wanted that to be... That's good. The, the yeah. vibe, like, if mm-hmm. we ever do have celebrities come, like, especially for that party, like, we always want it to be off the energy, not because, mm-hmm. like... You know, we're paying you yeah. to be there, and then like it's a whole thing, and then it becomes a, like a physical performance, and it's mm. like it changes the energy yeah, when you yeah, know it's it gonna happen. Yeah, and like I don't love always like having a planned performance mm-hmm. in the middle of a party. I think it plays with the energy in the room. Yeah, and then when you put their face on the flyer, like it's and then ca- it yeah, becomes it gives, like it be yeah. You're, I see what you mean. It for becomes sure. a different thing. You yeah, know what I mean? Definitely. So like, hopefully, it happens more. I feel like it'll happen more. I definitely think it'll I feel happen, like it'll happen more. more. Yeah, that's sure. why I love stuff like you. You see those videos of. Every single year. Is it um not Howard? What's the school? The one in Atlanta. And their homecoming is crazy and it's Spelman? like fifty art. Right, is, is it Spelman? Morehouse? Oh may- maybe Morehouse? Brown? Morehouse? No, no, Brown is in Atlanta. Or is it Clark Atlanta? Though that one know. school and they have like fifty artists every year that just come out when they book like two. I think last year was it twenty one Savage and Friends? Well yeah, it's at, it's that also that like show. it's Atlanta. And then it was like <laughs> 50 of them that came out. Yeah. Yeah. It's Atlanta. That type of stuff. It's Atlanta. That's hard. They have that network, though. Mm-hmm. Like, that's a thing that we don't have here. Like, yeah. It's not that connection. Yeah. Like, they'll Atlanta. show up just because. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, people will show up just because one person's there. Right. And then they want to do something. Then they want to do something. Then they want to do something. And just it's a domino effect. Right. That's literally how Atlanta is, especially in the rap scene. So 
car. Look at you yeah. looking so sad. <laughs> He's like, oh. I wanted God. to go to one of those. That seems so fun. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, when it comes to, like, artists and, like, their music and, like, their sounds, you said that, or, like, one of the questions that you had was, like, do you think that artists should stick to the sound that made them famous? I need you to elaborate that before I give my opinion. So what I was directly talking about, this might be a little niche. I don't know. Do you know who Kojo Funds is? No. He's a he's a UK rapper. Okay. And he was like really, really big in like the twenty seventeens around there. He had a very specific type, like the Afro swing type of sound. Okay. Like him and Jay Huss and them. Okay. Yeah. He mm-hmm. like started that. And then he kind of stopped doing that and people weren't really vibing with him anymore. And he just recently dropped the track that was back in that realm and it's fire. And I've been mm. thinking like, yo. As an artist, I get that you want to try new things, mm-hmm. and of course you experiment. But if you're experimenting constantly and seeing that it's not working, you lose your market. Why do you not? Why would you not just simply go back to what works and do that mm. anymore? Because I'm an artist. Yeah, I was gonna say it depends. <laughs> I get it, but there must be some way. Because I get it, like I live that reason it. in a, in a bunch. I of I get it, stories. but there must be some way that you could still do it and feel true to yourself. Like you're not just doing old shit. Like there must be some way because I want to know if they realize it themselves. Like people aren't rocking with you no more. (laughs) And if you could do this thing so amazing, even just every once in a while, just give us one of those to just keep, keep it going. So you think if it, if it's don't broke, don't, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Like you can when experiment for artist. sure, but when you completely just divert off the 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 path that we knew you for, because mm. I don't know, because it's like you like this artist for this particular thing. That right. it's 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 harder for an artist. Yeah, I mean, like artists that are great could do a lot of things very well, but the, yeah. the average artist isn't that. Yeah, you listen to Summer Walker for a specific type of music. You listen to 21 Savage for a specific type of music. Mm. That's why one of my gripes with R.I.P., with Pop Smoke, I didn't like the Pop Smoke R&B type songs. I know a lot of girls liked them. With, like What You Know About Love? Yeah, like that type. But that I didn't was, like that. That was also post-humanist. Humanist? No, I swear that was out when you... It, no, mm, it was, it was his it post-humanist was on, yeah. Or the, the other one, the Shawty the a Little Baddy. Like, that was also post-humanist. Nah, that was on... There was a couple that were on his. That album. came out after he. he I'm passed, almost positive I'm that pretty, came out after he passed. I but my it, thing I is, I think they were taking though. Like obviously he recorded it before, but I also think that they were playing with a lot of samples on that album, and they were like, "Yeah, let's do this R and B track where they sample differences by Genuine." Like as it, it's hard to really judge that because he passed before those songs were released. So like, was that really his intention, or was that the label also, giving like, us? Maybe it was just songs for the bitches. Like, sometimes yeah. you need the songs for the bitches. That is true. Yeah. In, but in that's, that regard. But, like... I get it, but I don't want that from you. But it's not for <laughs> you. It's true. You're not the target. The same way that I say true. Ice Spice, like, I'm not the target audience. Me neither. There's a couple sprinkles in there that all... For sure. Yeah, there's some bangers like, that, that she has, me. but it's not for me. Yeah. It's not for me. I just feel like certain... I don't know. No, I feel you, but then we end up with people like Chris Brown. Who like never deviate from yeah. anything, and then you're like, you've been in the game for 25 years, and yeah. you s- or Meg Thee Stallion, where it's like That's her true. old sound is just getting dragged, and then she tries to deviate. It's like, oh, this is ask back to your old sound. And it's like, oh, okay, old sounds like, oh, but God, this is dragged. <laughs> like we've heard this before. You know, it's like I feel like it's very, I feel like it's a very underrated talent to be able to deviate and still stay relevant. That's the thing; most people can't. No, they can't. But I'm saying it's also hard to stay in your own sound and people not complain about it all sounding the same or you not being versatile. Like, how do you find that balance? Because that's the Meg conversation, right? People are like, oh, her shit's been sounding the same since Tina Snow. And she can't really get into that pop and, like, everything. So her flow is very similar. But she tries to deviate. It's like, oh, but this sucks. So then she goes back to old sound. It's like, okay, bitch, it's the same shit. Like, it's true. It's how it, there's a very, very specific talent and a small percentage of people who can stick to their own sound and still make it relevant all the time or deviate and not get crucified for it. I feel like that's what makes a great artist though. I feel like an artist is supposed to experiment, try different things, you know? And mm. I think it's what makes an artist great and separates them from other just regular artists. If when they reinvent themselves, it worked, it worked. you know, right. like it was yeah. like, okay, you can keep doing this. But I also think it's kind of impressive too. Like 
I think an artist like Wiz Khalifa, who's had a long career, and mm. you think about it, only raps about one thing. <laughs> right. You know? But right. he's made a word. He's got like a 15 year Not career. One thing. <laughs> for the, for the, for the, I, I heard a challenge the other day where it's like he doesn't, he only has like three or four, like a handful of songs where he literally doesn't mention weed. weed? In it. So it's like, <laughs> this guy true. rapped about one thing for. A very long years. time. Yeah. yeah. And has like, makes a lot of money. And he can still headline a, a festival. Headline? Easy. Yes. Yeah. You think yeah. Wiz Khalifa in big bold letters yeah. and rolling loud? Fam, Wiz second, Khalifa se- is like one of the Or second the, row. Yeah. Wiz first, Khalifa? First and second, no, yeah. but where though? If in Europe, he can headline easily. Yeah. Really? Easily. Wiz yeah. Khalifa is one of the biggest yeah. rappers. It's nuts. Internationally. But he it's also like, reinvented himself too. If you think about like what black and yellow sounds like and then what We Them Boys sounds like or what yeah. Big yeah. Sale. Yeah. yeah, like he reinvented himself but was still able to stay true, you know? And that's what a great mm. artist does. He still Very talked true. about weed every time, but switched up the flow and it yeah. and it worked. Crazy. The I roll that thing because the I roll up song is the song for the bitches, but still uh, about weed. <laughs> Yeah, he, he like double on Tondra. Yeah, like, yeah, girl yeah. feel. Like, you know, it's very good, but it's like, right. yeah, you're still talking about weed, nigga? Yeah. Like, double on Tondra, weed, and women. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. No, literally. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. That Wiz is talent is, that you Wiz really is, don't think yeah. about. Wiz, is, Wiz yeah. makes bread, especially touring. Yeah. I swear he was, like, mm. top five. Like I didn't know paid. that, you know? What? Yeah. I feel like currency makes bread touring too, strangely enough, still. And that's a guy that hasn't really switched up or changed too much, just does like has that same, you know, like every time and it works. Don't reinvent the wheel. Like devoted. I feel like but I feel like now with the way that music is going, it works to a certain extent. Because I know you don't agree. Last year, right? Song of the Summer was last last. Mm -hmm. Right? Burn a boy completely. Can I pause you for two seconds? You don't agree that Last last was song of the summer last year. No, I never said that. I just said I wasn't the biggest fan you of the oh. song. No, I oh. said I wasn't the biggest fan of the song. And you were like, it wasn't. You're like, oh, it depends on where you were. If you're in the states, it wasn't really that big. And I'm like, yeah, the fuck it was. You're like, oh, they, they say, yeah. You're like, oh, they say I'm on one. I don't know if you definitely said it. Oh no, said you said it. wait for you in the states. You were was making, called, oh, yeah. yeah. I was making, making a battle between that, yeah. wait for you and, and I was last like, last. absolutely okay. not. I feel like last last was like, was it way bigger than wait for you in regards to like. Party song of the summer. Everywhere? Everywhere, bro. I think so. This is kind of what he was definitely saying. Definitely. Like I'm globally. telling you, this thing, last, last was getting banged. Okay. Yeah, I believe it, but. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, go on. I just. Um, to- yeah, so Brenna Boy sampled a 90s banger, last, last, right? Now here mm. we go again. And it, it took off. That was like, people say that was his break. I, I, will, I will agree. I think it was his breakout song because. People, we will say Ye was his breakout song, yeah. but I don't think Ye had that global mainstream scale, crossover. mainstream scale, the yeah. way that Last Last did. Yeah. For sure. Because even when I traveled, Last Last was getting played everywhere. Europe, United States, Canada, everywhere. So he did that, skyrocketed, whatever. Now he dropped Sitting on Top of the World, another 90s song. To me... Like I said, like you said, if it's if it's not broke, don't fix it, kind of. But now we're running into it's not really – people are saying it's not really hitting the same. To me, I don't yeah. dislike it. But, yeah, it's – if we're comparing, because music that's what everyone does, we compare, you know, last year, last album, whatever, whatever. It doesn't hit the way Last Last did. Mm-mm. And also, for me, why I think it's not hitting the way Last Last is, because Last Last was very – I think it was – there's a lot of emotion behind Last Last. He was really telling a story about in Last Last. This is very boppy to me. I feel like he was trying to make a summer banger and he had a good 90s sample and it was a very boppy song. There's not much to it. Mm-hmm. I feel like Brandy's sample is also kind of carrying the song when, like, when it was Last Last. You didn't really hear, like you knew it was Tony Braxton's, but we didn't really hear Tony Braxton that much in Last Last. It was all Burn Boy. Mm-hmm. But this one, you hear Brandy's voice a lot in the chorus, whatever, whatever. And then, you know, he kind of goes in and out. It's not really like hitting the way Last Last. It's still a good song. Song of the summer bait. You, know? you think it's the bait? No, but it's like it's interesting huh. that creators do do that. <laughs> they go in the studio and they're kind of like, "Hey, this is the one for the girls. This is for the summer. This is you yeah. know." And he really was going for the song of the summer vibe, yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, people. I think it's still it's movies, still good. They do Oscar bait movies, right? Yeah, it's true. You're right. I but. get it. And like even that, it's cool that you tried, but I guarantee Burner Boy's <laughs> not. not <laughs> Burner Boy's not going to drop six more '90s sample songs he in might. a row. I guarantee that. I don't not think he happen. will, but exactly. and that's my issue. It's like if we loved Burn Boy for this type of music, 
and then he had that one hit, and now the next 10 Burner Boy songs are sample songs. It's like, why are you doing that? And mm. I doubt he's going to do that. Oh, okay. So you think this will be like the last 90s? I sample? think it's like he, he tried it again. It didn't really work. He's probably just going to make some more regular tracks. He might like What do you consider regular in. tracks? Like his Afrobeat? Like his regular music, yeah. Okay. Like stuff on his album, the stuff that everyone liked. Mm. But Burner Boy is also very versatile. So I would not put it past him if he's like, yeah, I would like, I'm going to do something completely different. Yeah. But different than that. <laughs> it's okay if it's different. Like it, it just can't be the same different. And then eventually, if you have enough misses, then you have to go back to what works. Okay. Like, I could see Brenna Boy on, like, an EDM song. <sighs> and I feel like that would blow if it was, like, a, a good song. You think that's what's next for Brenna Boy? Is it EDM wave? I, I don't think it's it. a, I I don't think it's a wave, but I think there's going to be one. It's going to be, like, like... David Guetta and, oh, and Burna Boy Guetta. for like the Fast and Furious soundtrack. Oh. And the song is just going to take off. Something like that. Something That's crazy funny. like like Calvin Harris and Burna Boy. Ooh, I can see it. Something like that. Because he's very mainstream now, so I can see that. Mm, I'd call it, well, I'd call it mainstream, yes. But I don't think he's like... Making like when you go make like he's making terrible corny ass music now. Like, oh. I wouldn't call it that at all. But he's still fire. Yeah, definitely. I think Burna Boy shoots like ninety percent. <clears throat> I can't really remember too too many Burna Boy songs. I'm like, this is terrible. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't think he has a song where I'm like, this song is ass. Like I don't think Burna Boy has a shit song. I no. He might have songs, songs that like okay, like they're better. Obviously, they're better than others. So I'm like, you know, this song's okay, but I don't think it's like, yo, this song was shit. Like, what are you thinking? This song was shit. I don't think he has that. <laughs> no, I haven't heard one. There's not a lot, like, there's a there's few not a lot artists. Of artists who have no, shit. there's a oh. few artists where it's, like, it's rare for them to have a really bad song. It yeah. might seem like a, it might seem like an uh. obvious one. It might seem like an obvious one, but I kind of feel like Drake is like that, too. It's like you might like some songs more than others, but. That Search and Rescue oh. song was shit, too. I didn't, I I didn't like listen to. Good? It's an enjoyable you think so? song. Yeah, I don't I like that song that at song. all. I think it's, it's not shit. my favorite, but it's not yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's listenable. I think it's, it's not listenable. It gets to me. stuck in my head. Like I think one it's song, ass. one Drake song that I completely hated, and to me, Drake bats like 98. percent That um, what was the song? And it was like a. It's your fucking birthday. No, no everyone. Hates Ratchet that happy song. birthday. Ratchet happy birthday is cool. I'm no, cool it's with not that. Dog, that um. You my right hand. Oh yeah, I like that one either. Yeah, I didn't like that either. Yeah, I was like, yeah, no. Another yeah. one that everyone seems to love, but I just didn't. I don't like Madonna. I don't like that song. I don't know I what don't. that is. I don't you like know Madonna. The I mean, I'm sure I do. But yeah, I don't you know, definitely like, do. You definitely yeah. do. I don't know song titles anymore. There's too much going on. <laughs> yeah, a hot take for one that I didn't particularly like that everyone loves to this day. I didn't really care for Legend. That's crazy. I, think I didn't that's like really, a top ten. I didn't care for it either. Song, really. I didn't care for it. If we're being honest, I didn't care for it either. Because it's like, it's it's awkward to me. Because like, what? Where do you play that? Yeah, That's it's true. true. It's one of those songs that sits in between. Yeah. Like, you can't really play it at a party. it's good in the car, but kind of boring in the car. Yeah, yeah, you're playing it at home for what? I like that bag of his where it's very genre mending. Like, that song, I think Connect is also like that, where it's very, is this R&B? Connect is, is uh, I can listen to Connect in the car, though. Yeah, I guess. Connect is kind of a banger, but... Yeah, I'm going with sort of Legends. I don't really care. I think Legends one of his best songs, so that's mm. one of his best songs. It's one of his better songs, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of. It's like he has some good songs. He has. Oh, yo, let, <laughs> let, 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 hold on, let, let, it's one of my favorite Drake songs. You can there say you that. Go. Okay. There you one go. of my favorite. There you go. <laughs> Phrasing is important. Yeah. How you say things like words, words mean, mean things. things. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Words mean things. <laughs> words mean things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All it's like not one of it. It's it's like it's, it's one that I particularly enjoy. Okay, okay, okay. that's fair. That, that is, is a fair, fair thing to say. I will I will let you have that. I'm not gonna fight you on your opinion. <laughs> yeah, I feel like music is changing, and like I said, yeah, a lot of artists now are batting. Like, yeah. I would say the average artist now is maybe batting like 90%. Well, nah, no, actually, no. Is batting 90%? I don't know. I think you're being very generous. Yeah. I don't really listen to new people. That's true. I don't listen to new people like, either. I mean, I, yeah, I don't tried know. Tried and true. Like, what is it, like 85? No. 70? Well, I'm not who are we talking about? Are we talking about the like mainstream artists? Like the big ones? Yeah, let's say the, the big, big ones. Because the big ones, like when you're talking the big, big ones, like say top 15, top 20, their whole machine is probably not even letting a song come out that is that is terrible. It. Yeah, 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 that's you true. You know, so I don't know, but there was that one song, and it came and went, and they tried a thing. It was Kanye, Cardi B, and Lil Durk. Hot shit or something. Wait, I kind of like that song. That Hot song shit. is horrible. You? 
No, and I didn't hear nobody really? talk about it that or playing it. No. I wouldn't call it horrible. I don't even think I... Well, I, ex- I, I expected mind way it. more. I expected For sure, way. seeing all those names, you expect a crazy heat, like long-lasting track. But I don't think it was shit, though. It came and went super fast. It did came. No, it did no come and go really very jacking. fast. Yeah, yeah. No, Do you remember Khaled and Drake to the max? It was supposed to be yeah. a lead single, that. and it just didn't really didn't work, really and they completely up. just pretended it didn't exist. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you need to go on like YouTube and copy yeah, the link yeah. in order to <laughs> get it on your phone. On <laughs> copy the specific link. <laughs> YouTube converter. YouTube to MP3. You <laughs> just have to do <laughs> um, But any, either ways, before we get off music, speaking of rap, one thing I wanted to say, because Car- to me, I think Cardi B holds the golden ticket when it comes to verse, like, if I am a new female rapper, like a female rapper that's, you know, like having buzz or whatever, and I want a fire ass track to t- chart, mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. want a Cardi B feature. Mm-hmm. I think that Cardi B now holds the golden ticket to have her on your track for female rap. You don't, I, I think that's it. Explain why you disagree. Yeah, because. I disagree because, well, from how. Tomorrow too. It, yeah, no, see, so list those songs that you're saying. Okay, so tomorrow was like, meh. Tomorrow too. Tomorrow was not... How many people listened to Tomorrow before listening to Tomorrow 2? I knew it, but not a lot of people did. Let's be very real. Tomorrow was not getting bumped like that the way Tomorrow yeah, but, 2 was getting but bumped. But this goes into my point. Like, Cardi... And I love Cardi. I love Cardi. She'll go on songs... This, is, this was the difference. I think what you're talking about, like the golden ticket, it was remember when people were talking about the Drake stimulus package. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, if you want to blow as an artist, you have you Drake on the Drake song, on the track. song is going to boom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's different for Cardi because these songs that you're talking about that she hops on, she's not hopping on the original. Like, she is not the reason that the song is blowing. The song is popular. She hops on it and makes it even more popular with a fire verse. The but she's not put jumping. it on the floor was not that, that but that pop- song was out. It was popular. It she's was not, out, but I don't think it was that popular the way it's like Cardi's not hopping like all those. Put songs, it on the floor did not chart in the top whatever on iTunes. It did not but before Cardi have, jumped on it. But she wouldn't have hopped on it if it didn't have that potential already. I'm saying the original song. All of these remixes is it's remixes. Cardi's hopping on the remix of the songs. She, right. She's not on the original versions and making the song pop. That's why I can't really say she's the golden ticket because if she's on the original and it popped, then I'd be like, okay, cool. But she sees the potential in this song and then drops a fire verse and makes it even hotter. Mm, yes, Drake does. Drake was doing that too, though. Exactly. Drake was but doing no, that but, too, but I think the yeah. difference with like Drake, Sweeter Man, like heavy Sweeter Man was not really do like it was yeah, no, but that was Fetty definitely Wap a song too was already out, right? Yeah, that was already yeah. out, um, and that Fetty Wap song too, that my other way, kid, my, my way. way remix, yeah, that was already out. But what Drake was and what's doing the song for the with most Dave? part, want to know remix, some other kid too, what was his name? Anyways, but yeah, yeah, yeah he was on the the Your Mind Still remix. But what Drake was known for was artists that. Like, they had a popular song, and then him and the artist would make another song, and that song would pop. Because that was, he had that song with Lil Baby, like, the f- earlier on the brand new, I know. Yeah, he, yeah. He had the shoot with JB, with Block Boy, JB. Yeah. Uh, was he on the original, or was he on the remix of Tuesday with McConey? Was that a remix? That, that was, was a remix. I remix. think it was a remix. That was that a remix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it was like, there's, he, there was Drake hops on remixes remix. a lot and blows the song. He definitely he does. does. He does but, a lot. But Drake puts out bare music, though. I just feel like Cardi, she hops on the remix and makes the song blow for sure. Yeah. But I don't know if I would necessarily say that, like, if you want to blow, get a Cardi verse. Because once again, I'm her leaning team, towards that side still. Because like, I just think she's that, on a run. You know, she it is it off like just but it's fe- because she's features picking, alone. But that's the thing; she's picking good, like she's taking good shots. She's yeah. not. She's not taking well, bad why, shots. Why would would anyone? Is any artist taking bad shots when the song like Drake is not taking, taking a risk. bad shot? Hop on a remix. He's not. Right, you're still proving yourself before exactly. he's hopping yeah. on it. Definitely, but I'm saying if it's a different song, I feel like that's a little different than you making the remix. I, I get what you're saying. I get it. Because even when Lotto hopped on that boom part two, like the what? That ex- see exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Cardi's still Cardi. Like she's gonna make a fire verse, but I just feel like I just feel like it's a little bit different. Mm. 
That's why I wouldn't necessarily. Say. I almost feel like they they work better for Cardi than they do for like the artist. Exactly. Low key. Yeah. Because and she's been able to eat for five years off of just off features, that's right? the singles. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Drake like puts out way more content, so he's gonna hop on remixes, hop on regular stuff. Cardi like besides the the remixes, Cardi doesn't really drop that much music. No, she doesn't. So that's oh. why I'm saying. It it would be very strange for her team to pick like to make her shoot a bad shot if she barely puts anything out. So you're not you're not gonna hop on this song unless you guys know that yo this could blow. Like she's not gonna put out. It's like her and Lotto are not putting out their own song that's gonna flop. She would rather hop on the song that's kind of buzzing a little to take it to another level. Mm. That's what I was seeing. I get it. I get what you're saying. But is that not? I mean, it's not the same thing, but isn't it not kind of? But I feel way? like if Cardi did not jump on these tracks, they would not be they wouldn't. buzzing and charting the way they are. They wouldn't. Tomorrow, I think, had the potential. Because I think Tomorrow it was, was... I think it was going. Like, I think it was, like, at least becoming viral in some yeah. sense before Cardi. But it wasn't getting played in the club no, like, no, no, before no, 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 Cardi jumped on Not that I know of. No, no, no. no. I think, though, Same too. with that Put It On The Flow song. That song's been out for me because she performed that song. What festival did she do? I think it was Coachella. Yeah. And like everyone heard, like, okay, it's kind of big, but like no one was like down. Like it wasn't like crazy, you know what I'm saying? That's when Cardi hopped on it, and then I was like, okay, now it's like on the charts, top five songs on iTunes, whatever, whatever, whatever. But when she debuted it, no one really like kept up with it. And she debuted that at Coachella, which was like, that was in April. We're in, so the song's been out for like three months. Still wasn't really buzzing the way it's buzzing now. True. Because I'm sure if that song charted, 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 she wouldn't really do too many remixes. They needed the extra, and Cardi B was the. I think though that like this is, yeah, what you said, but right, <laughs> period, like that's it. Um, <laughs> she need to start the car. I'll get it all out. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> Are you done? I'm done. I swear. Um, no, I just feel like that it's a thing with rap. Like, where artists will go on legendary feature runs. And I think it looks different every single time an artist does it. Like, obviously, Lil Wayne had his his prime, his heyday mm, in, like, mm-hmm. 2007. Uh, J. Cole, they said, had, like, a really crazy feature run. And, like, even when Wayne was doing it, like, he would, like, take the song and make it his own, you know? He would make, like, his own version of it, but, like, with the same beat. Mm-hmm, um, yeah. Cardi is, like, just it, essentially her singles are, like, albums almost, you know? Like, the rollout and everything. Yeah. Like, WAP was, like, such a... You know, like you would think there was a whole album behind that. So I don't know. It's different when each artist kind of goes on their little. I remember Ludacris had a <laughs> had a pretty crazy <laughs> he feature run too. Yeah. You know? He did. He did. Um, and I think it, I don't know. It's different for each each yeah. legendary feature run. Mm. I agree. Perspective, you know. Mm. <laughs> I still think it's the like no. Yeah, I don't think it's the golden no. ticket. I no. don't know. <laughs> See, you know what would change my mind is when Cardi takes someone who is virtually unknown, Oops. drops a track with them. And they pop. Then I'd be like, okay. Because that has not happened yet. Anyone that she's hopped on has had some sort of a name. It's never Cardi B's on a feature with who is this random girl. <laughs> You've heard Drake on tracks with who is this random guy. Oh, well, yeah. Who the fuck was Ram Riddles? <laughs> <laughs> but what's that? Careers but does that it. count? That wasn't Actually, even look, a- I don't think it counts because Ram Riddles wasn't on the Sweeter Man Drake yeah. version. He just took his beat. And just called it the freestyle. And called it. But so, Ram yeah. Riddles still popped off of that. Did he? He had he a did. whole career, yes. He did. Yep. What other song did Ram Riddles post or put up that was like... There was one other one. What was the one other... I like... I know there was one other I don't know it, but... I don't know. <laughs> he Drake definitely- either takes your song, hops on it, and you both get like, like skyrocket from it, or he hops on your song and people forget that that was your song. And then... Because yeah. that's that what he did to Tanashi. And that happened with Versace. No, people still knew it was me. Mm. People knew it was me, but people were playing Drake's part. For sure, more but people knew. Listen, yeah. I had arguments with pe- like full on arguments. People were like, yo, like, oh, Drake's song too. I'm like, bro, that's Tanashi song. That's not Tanashi song. I'm like, bro, that is literally Tanashi and Schoolboy Q. They were like, no, it's not. I'm like, bro, I am telling you guys, that is not Drake's song. People completely forgot that was Tanashi's song. So, what would you rather? Well, obviously, you'd rather your career skyrocket, but. That's if Drake him. hopped on my track and people forgot it was my track, I'm pissed. Yeah, I'd be pissed. That's him trying to push Obi O'Brien, though. You know? Remember that? The white yeah, he was, was on the feature. Beard? Yeah, he was on two was, Oh, yeah, he was he was, but it. no one got to his part, really. Wait, he but, was on that? Yeah, he was on two Wait, no, he, he was on a different version of that. Oh, There's no, a version oh, without him. Oh. I have, just Drake? Yes, for sure. So there was a Drake 
version. A there Drake, was a Drake OVO version. The O'Brien version. Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't. Because the version that I have on my phone, it's just Drake. And you, I think it's Drake and Tanashi. That is not an official version. So who? You got that from the YouTube converter. <laughs> <laughs> that never dropped. I saw yes, OVO Fest right here. Never you brought out Tanashi. No, so maybe stop. I, oh, it is drinking Tanashi. She does the beginning and then he hops on I love to, There's no OB on it. Uh, I think someone made that. I, I think like, someone no. made that version. That's maybe, a TikTok version. Maybe I did find it on <laughs> YouTube. I don't think it's on my phone anymore. <laughs> it's definitely maybe not it on DSPs. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not on DSPs. Like the you ain't you ain't even know it beat like with all the versions spliced together you know like the YouTube mix. I've never yeah, heard it was that. like twenty unnecessary. That song yeah. is very. I don't really like that song to be honest with you, but that was a good song back in the day. It was a bang. It was a now. There's no replay value. No, 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 but no replay. Value I just think of Rick Ross. Yeah. saying mm-hmm. that crazy shit. Yep, put Molly on the She don't even know it. You know it. Like, sir, please, that is not okay. Didn't age well. There's wow. a no. lot of cancelable offenses. A lot back. Like, I'm rapping songs. I'm like, oh, they really said the bad words. Like, not good. Yeah. <laughs> all the words. All the words were used when I was growing up back in my day. J. Cole has one. <laughs> <laughs> J. Cole has one. Yeah, J. Cole one. has one. 50 Cent has one. Biggie has a bunch. So many. There's so Oh, my God. So Fat Joe. Many. Fat Joe. That Joe? Joe has so many really homophobic like, and like racially questionable. Tyler like the creator has. Uh, oh my god, Tyler the creator has Ty- so many. I don't know how the new kids love Tyler so much. Like such like the sense. Tyler is amazing. Kids. No, but I'm saying the the great, kids, like yeah. who love to dig up old stuff. They just because oh they like they just turn, leave turn Tyler a blind alone. eye oh, to yeah, Tyler. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I no, think they the, let him be because he's of the community. So they're like it was like a whole self hate. Blah blah blah. Situation and then they let him get that they, off. They huh? let him get it off. <laughs> okay. Don't say it like off. that. Basically, I mean, yeah. Hey. I guess I got I no think, horse in this ring. I, <laughs> <laughs> I think once it comes to like awareness and like you know you're like I don't know I don't know but yeah Tyler gets a buy. But he's amazing. So yeah, did he date Frank Ocean? Does Probably. anyone confirm that? I don't know if it's no, been confirmed. They were just but friends. Is that wrong? That's wrong? That is completely wrong. I saw maybe just Twitter rumors. No. I almost was, I thought I saw a rumor that he and Frank Ocean were dating. No. Or dated no. at one point. No. Why you say you no probably, like you know them? You don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say you he don't probably know. Probably you, just no like, like you know them. You don't know. I feel like if he even said that, he probably said it like as a like, as like how yeah. Tyler just says Tyler, yeah. He probably said some stupid like, yeah, me and Frank, you know. So they're not exes? I mean, maybe. Yeah. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. No one really knows. No one knows. But, but I yeah. highly doubt it. Maybe not. Maybe. Who knows? How far would you go for your ex? Nowhere. <laughs> no, I mean like. <laughs> no foreplay said. on that either, Dave. <laughs> what would, yeah, how, how far, far would it go back? Ahead. Okay, so say, for example, say you and I are dating, right? You and I break up, but like. I still hit you up for things, whether it's, you know, like finances or, you know. What? I what mean, are the things? Let's hold on right there. <laughs> Stop Why the is record. my ex asking me for money? <laughs> listen, I'm just. This is you just, ask your ex listen, your for ex money? Single. If your ex is single and your ex is coming to you for money and they don't have someone else to ask, then like, okay, I mean, I guess. Ask you're the your last... mama and your papa. Well, no, 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 Maybe they yes. don't have help. Maybe, but I'm just ask saying. Ask your like... granny and your grandpa. <laughs> Maybe they don't have. <laughs> ask your brother and your sister. <laughs> Maybe they're only child. Ask your auntie and your uncle. <laughs> Yes, I get it. I'm just... There's a lot of people you got to get through first before you get Okay, through. but I'm saying, so when do you draw that line? Like, say, for example, like I said, say you and I are dating, you know, I'm kind of down bad right now, and I come to you for help. Wait, like, when do you say, like, okay, like, the, you are my ex. Like, you like you have to... Like, there's no more helping. There's no more... How much money are you asking for? Let's just, I don't know if it's money. Let's say it's, you know... Okay, if maybe you ask me for $20, <laughs> I'm going to laugh at you. What? Wow. My ex is asking me for twenty dollars. I'm here thinking like they're in financial like strain. Yeah. They ask for like five bills. That's like. what I'm. No, but that's what I'm saying. If you yeah, ask here. me for twenty dollars, get out of here. <laughs> you need a real story. Like, okay, so okay, I like, yo, I'm about okay, to get I'm about evicted. To, yeah, I'm about to lose my place. Um, I need five hundred dollars to make my rent. Are we on good terms? <laughs> Let's say like, we're. Did we break up amicably? Sure. And we're still cool. Like, like we're there's whatever. no bad blood. No. Then I would probably give it to you because I would probably give that to one of my friends. Right. If we're cool, if it was like you did some dirty shit and we broke up and now you're asking me for see you on the street. <laughs> see you on the street. See you on the street. What if I have somebody else? 
Oh. But <laughs> oh. The audacity. That's, yeah, that's crazy. The nerve, the gumption. The gall. Why aren't you gall. asking him? I mean, maybe he doesn't have it. Well, that's your boyfriend. He should figure <laughs> your boyfriend that out. should have it. Like, like, even if your boyfriend does, doesn't have, have it. for free. <laughs> <laughs> Your boyfriend should figure that out for you. Why are you coming to me? Because yeah, you said I that agree. you got no, me. No, 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 we were no, together no. for a really long time. My you said, man, my, if I have a man, what are you doing? If I need money, my nigga, give me my money. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just saying, I know a lot of people who will do a lot of stuff for their exes and like still like, you know, oh, you can call me anytime. People be calling up. Even in the relationship, they be calling up their exes for stuff. Asking for I stuff, mean, for support, for help, all that stuff. Me, once you're my kinda ex, we eye. are done. It's kind of sad. I'm very that person. Like, once you're my ex, you're mm. my ex. I don't want to be your friend. I have some exes that I'm still friends with. Friends? Like, yeah. genuine friends, though. Yeah, but also we're gay. Okay. So, like, girls are kind of different in that regard. Like, some of my ex-boyfriends, like my ex-boyfriends, no, no, no. They're like, I have ex-boyfriends I will not oh. talk to. But, like, one of my ex-girlfriends, like, we're still really good it's friends. It's hard to... So... You find it easier. So what's the difference? To, yeah, I was gonna say, like, what's the difference? Like, do you find it easier to still be friends with women you've dated? It's weird. It's weird, but yes, depending on how open you are and like yeah. communication and stuff. I feel like sometimes when it comes to like men and women, our communication styles are just different. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's not easy to like get past certain things when you're with a man versus a woman. Like we take into account a lot of different things emotionally, I think. So it just kind of changes the dynamic a little bit. Whereas with men, like, especially the way men view women, I think it's like, mm. I, I own, like, I know you as like the person that I fuck and do this and do this and this. And it's like, if I can't do that, then like the energy's weird mm. and you can't like maintain that. It becomes like a weird, like it can become like a weird thing. Yeah. But I find with some of the women that I've dated, like, it's a lot easier to just maintain friendships and like joke and be easy and be light and be able to just talk be like yeah we really fucked that up like oh. <laughs> whoops and then like just keep it moving it's oh. weird it's strange it took time too like it's not like it was like a quick like yeah you know but i don't know if it's because i'm old, if i like because i'm a little bit older like i don't care about certain things anymore like certain shit just doesn't matter mm. like i don't know I'm, but i get it i do think women are more like forgiving in general and are more willing to like be amicable with people. I'm not. I feel like I feel like I feel I'm like not girls. One of them. I'm not. I feel like girls fall out faster. But when you guys fall out, like you can make up. Like girls will be not friends and then friends and then not friends and then friends. It's very guys. It's like once we it gets to that point where it's like I'm cutting you off. There's nothing that you could do t- for us to become friends again. That's also me. Or is that just pride? Like it could be. Pride pride I'm a ego. very prideful person for sure. Pride and ego definitely. I think women communicate their emotions better and therefore can reconcile better and like, you know, rectify situations or wrongdoings that people have had in a past relationship. So mm-hmm. I'm not th- that makes sense to me. Somet- okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have a very like actually no, I'm not gonna say it, never mind. Continue. No, that was C O E. What? Let's go. What'd you just call me? I said C O E. Go. Oh, go. <laughs> what is that? What is the stand for again? Content, Content over, over everything. everything. Okay, so I'm not the best communic sometimes I'm a very good communicator, sometimes I'm not. Mm-hmm. When I'm emotional, I'm not a good communicator because I know, you know, I might have something wrong, whatever, whatever. So I had a situation where like I was upset and I didn't <laughs> Did you laugh? Oh, I thought you were laughing. <laughs> uh, I had a situation where, like, I was upset about something, and I did not want to communicate at all. So I said, like, I don't want to talk to you, whatever, whatever. I shut was, down. Yeah, very much shut down. Don't want to speak to you. I'm upset by myself. So, and I don't blame the person, because obviously if someone doesn't want to talk to you, you're not going to want, okay, if you don't talk to me, then, you know, I'm going to hold that. Mm-hmm. So you remember that, do you remember that Love & Hip Hop clip? Where <laughs> Yeah, I know exactly. You're you're that, eh? <laughs> I love this fuck clip where she's like, I don't even care, like you can go do what you want to do. And he's like, I he's like she's like, Yeah, okay, so go. And he leaves she's like, Are you really gonna leave and not talk to me? No, literally. Oh my god. Was it Jocelyn? No, no it, was it was Tommy. Tommy. Oh, okay. I had one of those moments and I bro, after I was like, yo, Zoe, you're fucking whack. Like, why did you do that? Like, you're big, big 26. Why did you, like, I don't want to talk to you? And then we just want to talk to you. Be like, you're like, actually not going to talk to me. Like, I literally have one of those. So. <laughs> That's real. I mean, it happens. I'm 
coming to terms with myself. It okay? happens. It does happen. It could change. Like you, it, if, I'm, I'm, if you I care. thought it was very whack of me. I'm not gonna hold you. Okay, so it probably won't happen again. You know, <laughs> so there you go. Won't. Lesson learned. Has it happened Done. again? No, it hasn't happened. Okay, again. but it was yeah, it wasn't that long ago. But it hasn't happened again. But it probably. Won't. <laughs> She's like, I've learned nothing. I'm gonna. Just, I I learned learned like, I've actually learned nothing. nothing. I'm gonna do it again. It's going. To I'm gonna do again. it again. No, I'm kidding. I'm actually gonna try not to do it again. I'm, I'm sure. gonna try to communicate very effectively in the moment when I'm upset. It's also okay to just take take a pause. Be like, I want to yeah. talk to you, but right now I don't fucking like you. Get in my face, and like we'll talk later. Yeah. So that way you don't feel like you're being abandoned and like yeah, you're yeah, running away too. from. Me. Yeah. I yeah. do not have the capacity right now. That's the bar. I hate that bar. Have you ever gotten mad at something and then gotten mad at yourself for getting mad at that? All the time. Yes. In there was one the time, time I was Austin. talking to a girl <laughs> and I caught myself and I'm like, Yo, what am I? Doing? I got mad. I, remember I got mad because she put, I can't remember what, she put like some emojis under this guy's picture. <laughs> oh, Tresor. Stand up. This is real. This is real. Like, yeah, 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 I'm being right. real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, okay, I like okay. the moment, but stand up. Okay. She, she put like a certain emoji that I didn't like. I can't remember what it was, was, it was now. I don't remember what. <laughs> the drool, the drool, oh, was that the drool? The, the drool is nasty. Oh, that's crazy. I see my, ah, the the yes. audacity. I see my nigga put the drool. I feel like. Why are you drooling on a bitch? I feel like pitch. it's different when it's a woman putting a drool under a man. For sure, that's a whole it is. Because that's crazy. context, yo. <laughs> what about the it might, emoji? It w- is that crazy? The no. What? We don't want to like, Maybe like if he's a like guy blowing the poop. Does it? Mm. I feel like from a girl, I don't think that's that bad. You think if a guy does it, it's bad? I don't think it's that bad. Like the like it means like oh like you know it's a nice picture like whoo. I don't like like if my if I see tongue out, if I see yeah the drool or the like splashes the, drool. the water splash. Oh, splashes. You're trying to get freaky. Yo, the water droplets. I think it was even a, hard eyes sometimes. I think it was a, a little. fire emoji and a heart. Oh, that's uh, fine. Just that's your fine. Dad, yeah, you're weak that's for fine. that. You're a weak f- for that. Two fire emojis and three hearts Ooh. under a man's Ooh. under a man's picture. Three the hearts. numbers. It's the numbers. But it depends. Okay, I was I like, comment hmm. on my guy friend's pictures. Like, <laughs> I'm not done. I'm gonna take it to another. Okay. Level. okay. Oh God. Because <laughs> I was actually embarrassed. C O E. So I addressed it with her, and she was obviously like, "Bro, like, what are you like? What's wrong with you? Like, why are you mad or whatever?" At this point, I was kind of like, "Okay, yeah." Um, like I'm just being stupid, and the icing on the cake to make it feel even more stupid. <laughs> I went on Twitter, and she tweeted, "Oh yo, oh. Uh, sorry. Oh, what did she tweet?" I went on Twitter, <laughs> and she tweeted, <laughs> "Yo, can I get it out?" And I'm just being honest. This is coe. So I got mad. And I went on Twitter and she tweeted, niggas are getting in their feelings over emojis. <laughs> SMH. <laughs> and I couldn't do anything. I had to hold that. Because I know I was being ridiculous. Yeah. Yes, you were. I, I won't lie. Did you just happen to see it? Is that, like, how did you see her? Yeah, I just saw it, just, it under it the just, picture. It was just, like, a random, like, you follow the same people and it just, yeah. like, okay. But there's context. This was, like, a person that there was, like, history with this wasn't some random man mm. oh so you mean like that them and that person they yeah you know did the do oh, they, they had a little situation like, there was some on. context okay okay, okay, okay. okay. So you understand okay 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 i get that but my <laughs> thing is i don't get like as we get i don't really get mad over like i said there's certain emojis you can't be put like if we're a thing don't be putting certain certain emojis on girls pictures like now we have problems like the heart, I don't mind. It could be your dog. You know what I'm saying? I put hearts on my dog's pics all the time. I don't, I don't do that. You know, the little, this one or a heart, I don't care. Um, Money bag. <laughs> money bag. Money bag. Very I'm relevant. Bag. Very relevant, too. But I drop a money bag. bag. 70 with it. Money bags, I'm like, I don't know. I drop a money bag. I'll drop sure. a money bag. I casually. don't know. In passing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If my Go man pass. drops <laughs> money bags, though, I don't know if I like that. That was my thing. Money bag. Heart eyes. Eh. That's doing wild. too much. That's yeah, I don't really much. really like heart eyes either on other girls' pics. But then what if it's like uh, like an inside joke emoji that you don't even understand and they post like some random thing that like means something to them? That low-key you know? can be the worst. That like low-key, like it means something. Like it was like a nickname or something. It was like they post like a sunflower. The they used to call Girl, you sunflower I know they have or some thing. shit. There's a situation that I know <laughs> and one, like this, so say someone. Okay, so say... 
it was all giveaway. Say you and I met, right? And you had a girlfriend, but you and I were still fucking. But, you know, it's okay. We can't fuck anymore because you have a girlfriend. And you're like, okay, um, that kind of sucks because I like you, but you're right. I do have a girl. But, like, I still think about you. So every time I post a, per- every time I post a story, post a purple heart, that means I'm thinking about you. <laughs> so he, he would post, like, stories and it'd be, like, purple heart. And she would post a story, like, purple heart back. So that... That's a that A1 would fuck me up. That's some um, that's connected. That like, would fuck me up. Yeah. Because imagine you think your man is just out here posting cute shit. A cute shit with a purple heart and he's talking and sending bat signals to the next gal. Yeah. No, that's deep. That's bad. That's deep. Especially Isn't if it was fucked? like if it was like predetermined and like you yeah. discussed it. That's nasty work. That's bad. <laughs> that's f- that's nasty. Like imagine every time I post, it's like, son, but I'm saying, hey baby, I miss you, but I have oh. a girl. <laughs> Right. That's bad, bro. That's fu- that's that's. If that's, your girl is doing that, that's, that's words mean something. Emojis mean something. <laughs> <laughs> don't get it twisted. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind fire emo like fire emoji. Cool heart. Cool money bag. I don't know. D- gem. Okay, fine. One stars. I- sure. Yeah, I, I used to do a. But when you get to like the hard case. eyes Hearts, or the the dro- water droplets, drooling. Or the eyes, just just the it's eyes. It's questionable. Yeah, it's like, just what the eyes. Mean? Like, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm not gonna. Hold you. Certain emojis mean something, man. I don't care. You were kind of. I mean, you weren't wilding, but you were kind of wilding, but not wilding. No, but that tweet yeah, though. I wasn't. The tweet was. <laughs> that tweet's hilarious. Because to have to like open your Twitter it's and context, see context, yes. And now that I like see like me now, there's no way I'm standing for that. The tweet. Yeah, because what do you mean, like, <laughs> I come to you with something that I dislike and now you're going to tweet about me? <laughs> and we're supposed to be, like, a thing? You don't rate me. Fair. That's very Word. true. Because now, if I tweet, I'm the bad guy. Fair. When you, when you come to me about something. That's Niggas fair. out here subtweeting. Whack. <laughs> yeah, and then now it's, oh, I'm sassy because I'm subtweeting. <laughs> I'm sassy. Oh, okay, the sassy, every time you want to bring the sassy thing. Because that's what, that's what y'all be saying. I don't say it. I don't call men sassy anymore. Because like, to me, the sassy term never meant what it meant today. But that's what they be meaning. That's the weight <laughs> that they're putting on something. it. Words mean something. I mean, you're right. But I just, I hate the way people turn sassy into a bad thing. I used to be we were telling you from the beginning that this is what they mean by it. And I was like, no, that's not what I mean. And now I just can't say it anymore because people be like, oh my God. It's convoluted. Sassy. Speaking of sassy, what about Drake's nails? That is sad. Sorry, that, I'm just Sorry. word vomiting today. <laughs> I'm not even following the content. I'm not even following the anymore. I'm just going off things. Yeah, how do you feel about Drake's nails? It was a very poor choice of yellow. I think so too. It was a very, very poor. If you're going to paint your nails as a man, it has to be. Paint them all you want. Even yeah. paint them yellow. That yellow was just a very bad yellow. It didn't go with his skin tone. It washed him out. It was gross. It was a bad yellow. It was a bad yellow. And he knows better. <laughs> we know that Drake knows better. It was a bad yellow. It was a horrible yellow. What do you guys think? It was a horrible. I don't really yellow. have a. Once again, I don't have a horse in this race, so I don't. Really Sorry, this was big talking with the family this weekend. But Trisor, would you ever paint your nails? No, I'm not particularly a fan. Would I you? Just, no, can I don't I, think so. Can I see your hands, both of you? I'll I get just, my I just nails see done. If you have nail like paintable like nail beds. You guys have great hands for getting them painted. I'll definitely get my nails done, but not. Painted, but also like he paints has, not like, my swag. Very short nail beds. I don't so, think like, you so have too. To have a, you have I, to have a I don't good think nail bed. my like, thing is I don't think it matches his image or his aesthetic at all. Yeah, like I Playboy Cardi could do that. Like you he roll with like Scarborough like niggas. And? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put on a Toronto Blue Jays fitted with the flats. <laughs> with the flats. <laughs> And a North Face and a matching blue nail, my nigga. Then like, I, I, don't, I know. don't know. I was not expecting that from Drake. Drake does a lot, but I was not expecting the nails. I'm not gonna hold you. It, it's cute. It should have been baby blue. The yellow was poor. It's okay. He will learn his lesson next time. It'll be a cuter color. Do you do it again? Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. This is just the beginning. Someone said he's hanging out with Lil Yachty a little bit too much. It's definitely probably. That's, that's a, definitely probably. a Yachty thing. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Do niggas tell niggas like, yo, yo, you gotta paint your nails, nigga? Like, do you guys like really like to <laughs> give each other like aesthetic? Like tips. Do you guys like get regular like, manicures? I don't. I, so. I, I don't because I'm cheap. But I oh would if the option is there. I would. I mean, the option is okay. there. You're not. You just don't want to pay for it. Yeah. Broke. 
You should. But be, I've you been should. spoiled. But I've been spoiled that every time I've gotten a ma- uh, manicure, I have not paid for it. So I don't want to start now. I understand but I would. that logic, but, but also not. like, why don't you just par- like? Women like love a clean nail. And how resort. much is it? It's like, it's like fifteen dollars. And then don't you have to like tip on top of that too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, a service. I mean, you can give like five bucks. You spend twenty bucks on dumb shit all the time. You may yeah. as well care for yourself. A nice little. And then you want to put your fingers in certain girls' pussies. Like, like it's you a, gotta it's a keep a nice your nails moment. clean. Keep your hands and nails clean. So is there not a way I'm to keep your nails? Honest. So is there not a way to keep your nails clean without? You can give yourself a manicure. If you, you can give yourself a manicure, but like. Why not treat yourself? I just thought it was more expensive than that. I've heard it was like eighty dollars. No, because that's us getting acrylics full and full set. sets and you know polish and and, and all and the things. If you just look at a basic manicure, it's like a basic manager cut. Yeah, clean the nail, cut the cuticle down. Not nice even a hand po- massage. Yeah, warm maybe you don't need a polish. Twenty is not bad. That's I, not bad. I should do it more often. Yeah. It's a nice. It's a nice. I like thing. when men get manicures because yeah, Once like I said, in a while, yeah. listen, sex one on one, hands matter. Hands yeah. matter. Women love a nice hand, and well, when some. you are putting your hands in places that are sensitive, your hands need to be taken care of. Imagine you have dirty fingernails, and now you want to put your fingers in my coochie, or my mouth, or, or wherever, my mouth, or, or my butt. butt, like or all three, like please, <laughs> like I mean that last one. I don't know if you really have <laughs> such a problem. With it. <laughs> it's probably not the. You don't uh, put thumbs? You better not put No, I'm saying that's probably we, not the, the, we talked the, about the, thumbs the last dirtiest episode. thing in this area right now. The thumb and the ass is the dirtiest thing? My butt is sense. My I bo- feel like on the inside. The like, vagina is self-cleaning. Yeah. But he's saying the, the, the asshole's the dirtier than his he's thumb. He's saying oh, it's redundant. Oh, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, it took a second. It took a second. We got there. We got yeah. there. I don't. I get it. Okay, but there's still infections But you know, I don't want to put your, like, I don't want your dirty fingernails to go inside my ain't. <laughs> Go in my butthole. Yeah, no. So your fingernails have to be clean. Period. Valid. Well, you guys are making valid points. <laughs> you guys have very clean fingernails. It's not gross. I'm just saying. It's a, yeah. it's a nice. Could use a little improvement, but I try to not. Yeah, be yeah. Nasty. Like I could. I could go. Do more you clip often. your own fingernails? Yeah. Do you clip your cuticles? Like this part? Yeah. When it's when I notice it's like. Yeah, but you don't. If it's an <laughs> issue, <laughs> spraying. Yeah. The yeah. white part. <laughs> you the mean bottom the part. Skin? The bottom skin part? Yeah, you trim yeah. that. Okay. Yeah, when I notice it's fraying, but not like... Right. Fraying. Is that not the <laughs> term? I mean, that's what it does, I, I guess. Cuti- but I don't, I don't, th- I don't think know if cuticles you- fray. I know what he means. You know I what know what like, you mean, yeah, when they like, like lift and yeah. And, and it's dry. Yeah. It's like, yeah. it's frays. It's, it's fray. It's so, fraying. Okay. Is it off-putting to you if a guy paints his nails? Yeah, I don't like it. What if it's one nail? Don't like it. Not what even, if it's not a even, design? It's not even a sticker. One of- first daughter? Whose first daughter? Like your daughter put yeah, it. Yeah, he's in a my girl butt. dad. So why'd you take it off after? <laughs> yeah, you can just wash it off. <laughs> like, is that, is that different? Is it different just because his daughter painted his nails? Yes. Yes. No, it's not different. Take it off. <laughs> I'm I, sure. Like, I don't get it. Like, okay, so what's? I'm confused. You got your nails painted, and then you came on a date with me. You couldn't take. Like, <laughs> I don't get it. what? You couldn't take it off after your daughter I went to bed. Mean, you, Am I dating this man? No, I'm saying just a guy in general. I'm very confused. Like, I how mean, would I? I just explain asked you if you if you find it off putting. You know? Sorry, I just asked you if you found it off putting. I don't really like it. What about you, Rebecca? I'd rather I wear a like crop top. You strike me as the type that was <laughs> really <laughs> <okay> <laughs> with. Really? Yeah, no, I'm fine <laughs> with it. I like it. God, no. You like it? I, don't, I really have no problems with she, it. She, yeah, she doesn't strike me as the type that would be Kay. judgmental to that. I have no, pro- but like, you also have to consider like. I'm very, I'm open. Like, I'm, yeah. You know, like, I, I'm, it doesn't matter, but like, <laughs> you're what? I'm, Tell us I'm, more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Whatever, get it it's out. Pride Month, fuck it. I'm pansexual. So, like, yeah. I, I like people, like, educate. Man, woman, doesn't matter. Like, yeah. I don't care if you're trans, doesn't matter. Like, I like the person. Mm. So, like, the sex of the person doesn't matter. So, if someone's just like doing whatever they want, they want to explore putting fingernail polish on, like, I feel like straight all people for it. are Go very, we're, we have a rigid. lot more strict, a lot of like yeah. We things. have a lot more strict lines because of like you know but like, masculinity, who cares, and femininity, and yeah. But I feel like the, I feel like straight people were like very judgmental though. Very. I had like a very I big because if I came here with a mohawk, <laughs> you're gonna be sick. But that's because it looks stupid, <laughs> not because <laughs> not because it's something that people find feminine. <laughs> like okay, maybe if. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something no, that equates. How do you know it's gonna look stupid? <laughs> you with a mohawk? How do you know it's gonna look stupid? But are we, are you we think talking? You eat with a mohawk? No, but are we talking? Are we talking like? Storm? No. 
No, but what? are we are we talking like Roscoe Dash Mohawk? Like, <laughs> like sticky like, or like you just shave the sides down? And like yeah, or a Cassie James Mohawk. Maybe Cassie Mohawk. That's different. I, I don't see that for you. <laughs> <laughs> If you just come in here unannounced one day with the sides of your heads shaved, holy, with like slick business in the front, party in the back, <laughs> nah, I don't. Think I think that's, that's drying for anybody though. Like you see anyone do that, you're like, okay, whoa. Well, it's like when Jimmy Butler got <laughs> single, single braids. Yo, a lot of women mess. were thrown off. Those were a, a lot of straight women were probably. They were thrown a mess. Off. They didn't look good though. Yeah. that's the problem. Like if my man got single braids. We're gonna have a serious, or, or have a serious like problem. if if he had like a small like, what whole, like mean, really braid he, started already. Is it off putting because you think it just doesn't look good, or because of the femininity thing? I just why are you getting single braids? What about extensions in the braids? That's what I mean. I don't like like no, why is my man like yeah. getting it's if, just like what if, if my man thing? comes up with a pack of expressions for himself? What if, okay. what if he's going? Yeah, no, what no, if no. he's trying to do locks right and he doesn't want to go through the starter lock phase and he just go through the gets Be a man, baby. But you said you hate. I get what you're saying. But you said that you hate starter locks. I do. But I'd rather you go through starter locks than me calling my braid girl for you and you bring the three pack of expressions and you're like, let me get faux locks. I don't like that. As long as I, I think as long as you keep them to the point where like, I just think I don't care. But it is jarring to see a man yeah. go from like a short Caesar <laughs> to a full head of of faux locks and they don't look good. And then he's trying to play it off like nothing happened. But it's like, my nigga, like, they don't even look good. Like, what about the rat tail? Are rigid. I hate the rat tail. The rat tail's gross. I hate that. Rat tail's gross. I hate, or that, that just the puff, like that one oh, puff disgusting. that Connie was doing. Was that what it was called? Cut. Oh, that was That's disgusting. horrible. That's a fuck. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> that thing is horrible. Yeah. Why do we do what are that? Some, what are some girl hairstyles that you hate? Watch, they're all gonna be masculine because no, straight people no, are rigid. This. No, no, <laughs> no, do it. It's nice fine. Try, no, it's fine. Why? I hate. I don't know if there's any styles I How hate. How is that? Ba- no, come on. You like a bob, like a Lord Farquaad bob. It's you don't my, like it. It's not. If my she favorite. looks good, you don't an ear bob. But some girls can pull. Yeah, it like everyone can. Style? That's the thing. I think with hairstyles for women, it's not that a specific style looks bad. It's just it looks bad on you. Like some people, different people can pull off different. I feel like styles. an ear bob, like ear bob, ear bob is not looking good on a lot <laughs> I've of women. Dated, yo. I've dated girls that like, like the coconut bobbed, head so type. I, yeah, bob. like ear bob, <laughs> not chin bob, guys. Ear bob, ear bob. Well, when was the last time you even <laughs> saw someone with one of those? Right. I, a lot of no. Recently, remember the it was remember when Jada Wade got the bob season and the girls, girls were going shorter and shorter and shorter. Yo, there were mad ear bobs. On I didn't the see any ear though. bobs. I saw like nape of the neck chin bobs. I don't think I've ever I've seen, seen an ear bob. bob. Ear bob is nuts. I've never seen it. Well, I mean, actually, we were kind of doing the ear bob back in the day with Rihanna when Rihanna had the mushroom cut. Yeah. See. Do you guys remember that when she was when, bl- was when she red? was blonde? No, she was blonde first. And it yeah. was like a mushroom cut, and she was shaved underneath, and it was just bloop. It was like yeah. literally like a mushroom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vaguely yeah. Remember. And then she like ended up like flipping it and back like the and like the Jamaican the auntie. Type yeah, cut. yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen anyone do that in a very, 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 very long time. But like that was like a yeah. thing. I don't know. I'm open to everything. I don't care. Nothing I just feel like me. people follow shit. things that celebrities do, and it doesn't always. It d- yeah. There are so work. many things that Rihanna does that the world, like nobody else can yes, do. Yes, like I said, all, Rihanna, I mean, Rihanna <laughs> had you guys wearing <laughs> Adidas track pants and heels. I did that. I have a picture. I can I can pull it up on Facebook right now. And I had a short buzz cut. That is cut. crazy. I, had, I, was in, I was 22. It was like, like a long time ago. Adidas and heels was nasty. I'm like, I, had, I didn't yeah, do no, that I had, I had Adidas tracksuits and a fucking strap. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to get this right now. And <laughs> a strappy open toe heel in the club, bitch. Yeah, that was the best. Did you have the sides open? Like, you know when they open the sides? No, the it pants? wasn't. It oh, wasn't it those wasn't ones. ones. Like the tearaways. No, it, it was wasn't the regular tearaways. soccer, was, like Man United. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, it's dirty man. work, bro. I don't know what I was on, but that was I mean, the time. It was another, a long time ago. Another era I hated was the the neon green for y'all. I kind of like I kind of like the neon yeah. green. Yeah. green we were wearing like, like the neon green, like the one pieces or the oh, heels. I never, and the, oh, oh, the oh like the chunky. Green, I had a like neon color green, like, blocking, uh, like what off the shoulder top. The neon trend was a little wild. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm glad that was the same time as the biker trend. It was like the biker neon. Oh, you didn't like the the biker shorts trend. No, the shorts. No, like cool, the motorcycle, the like yeah, like the racer kind of looking. Oh, just the neon like, fits. Yeah, yeah, it was the colors, like around the motorsport days. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What hairstyles do you hate, Tresor? 
I just said it depends on the person. I can't. There's not one necessarily because I've heard a lot of guys don't like braids. I'm not mad at braids. I like. I what's wrong with braids? I don't know what's wrong with braids. I like braids. Men are I'm very. Mad it's giving anti-black when men say they don't like braids. I'm not mad yeah, at braids. When men are like, oh, I hate when girls wear braids. It's giving anti-black. Do you have a specific <laughs> hairstyle on women that you like that you prefer? Um, Every guy has one because one of my boys told me the other day his favorite, and I was like, oh, really? But <laughs> oddly enough, I like the I like the two space buns. Okay. Yeah. Really. I like, I like Never heard buns. that answer either. Like, That's a, a really cute, answer. a really cute girl with like the two, sp- like the kind of messy space buns. I think it's fire. Okay. okay. I don't know what the name of this style is, but it's like describe a, it to me. You know the the pineapple. You know. <laughs> what? When like they put their hair up. Yeah, like when it's like up and it like, like kinda, straight up. Yeah, and it kind of comes, like comes over. Yeah, it comes over forward a like little bit. Like the pineapple ponytail. Oh, can't see my shoes. You know, that, the, those are your favorite hairstyles, guys. And I like a really good like and a middle part bust down like is is but that's but that's general. Okay. Yeah, I'm talking like, about like outside the box things, not just right. a regular yeah. middle part. Okay, bust. I like a really neat straight back, okay. like long straight really? back, like a really pretty girl with I really that. clean straight backs looks fire to me. I like really, that. Yeah. I like that a lot. I think so. I did not expect that one for braids. I like when there's like two that come down like. You want like jail braids, like French I, braids? If they like. You know, if it looks and goes with your aesthetic, that could look nice. Yeah, huh. like the big, like the like the big braids with like the gold stuff in it. Mm-hmm. 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 I like that. The jewels, you like the hair jewels? Okay, but it has to like it has to suit you. Like everyone, it, it doesn't suit everyone. How do you guys feel yeah, about right. those like the, the the big baby hairs that they do now? Yeah, like, how do like, the baby they, hairs? They like with the them even? with the wigs. Like just wigs are not, like, but like I, they do like, like baby intense baby yeah. hairs, like the not big, just the cute big, artistic big ones, ones, like the long curtain looking yeah. ones. They can get like a lotto baby crazy. hairs. No, like a lot, the, no lotto. No, baby lotto hairs does like I feel like she goes wild. I mean, like the intense like. I feel like if you're, I'll look past it, but it's <laughs> okay. not necessarily my favorite. Got it. I like nice baby hairs. If they're late, but I appreciate you know. a good baby okay. hair, but some people like you're taking hairs that aren't babies and babying them. <laughs> that I don't really like. You're babying the adult hairs. <laughs> these are preteen hairs. These are adult. Yeah, hairs. those these these hairs of RSPs because yeah, yeah some of them yeah. are a little little too long. They're not giving baby anymore, baby. Yeah, right. It's like you're grown. <laughs> like they'll touch if they're t- when the baby hairs touch the eyebrows, I lose it. Yeah, it's a lot of baby. Like hair. that's a lot. Yeah, baby hair. What, what hairstyles on guys taxes. do you guys not like? You know what? I, oh, what I don't like. I the list could go on. <laughs> okay, so let's start with Rebecca first. <laughs> I don't I don't like that puff thing. I don't like the rat tail. And I don't like I don't want to insult anyone, but you know the big like the big thick locks like yeah. the, the wicks, like the, the yeah, the, Florida, like the, the flat the like the, the I don't like ones, those. I'm not I'm not I'm not living for those. I don't like those. It's just I don't know. I don't I like admire it. if you stick it out long enough to get wicks. Cause that takes That's, a while. You looked yeah. over there like someone with wicks just walking. That's dedication. <laughs> no, because we laugh about this too. Like the, the Florida hairstyles. Yeah, it's funny. and so like no disrespect, because like I feel like they're mostly Haitian, right? So maybe it's a culture thing. I just don't mm. like the way it looks. A Florida Haitian thing specifically. <laughs> they, they love it down there. The Zos. Yeah. Hmm? I said the Zos. Oh. That's what they're called. Mm-hmm. They're the called. Zos. Yeah. Yes. Oh what? yes, I have yeah, heard yeah, that. Yeah. Making um, intros, I went through a million rappers referencing. Do you remember Gorilla Zone? Z- yeah, and Gorilla Zone lyrics to him? and stuff. Is he he was shit? fire. I don't know what Zoe happened. In a rap lyric. Gorilla, Gorilla Zone had a one two banger still. I, I think that you. first album was like. What happened it. to Gorilla Zone? I don't know. Anyway, sorry. What, what mm. do you don't like on men? I don't mm-hmm. like the puffs. I don't like the rat tails. I don't like the braids. I don't like. No style what, of braids. Wait, wait, wait. What braids? You, they can't have any, any. form of braids? Yeah, like, it has to no be. No like, fade with a braided top to or me, anything. Oh, I, oh, hold on. I need another one. You know the basketball player haircut? It, the fucking Rick and Morty? It, the it Rick look, and Morty? It looks like Morty. Like from the Rick Odell and Morty. Beckham? Just the sides are just like just a very small. Like the taper? Just a, but it's a very small portion of their hair oh, yeah. is tapered. And it's exactly like mean, yeah. just right here. And then their hair ends up going back like this, like Trey Young. It's a young boy haircut. Like every, like they just taper right here, and then their hair just goes every time. And I'm just like, it looks like Morty from Rick and Morty. It's I know a you're Morty talking haircut. about. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I get what you mean. Because you know what it is. I'll tell you exactly what it is, and it's usually unintentional. Your barber is trying to line you up, and they like, 
in in an effort to try to shape your hair, they just shave the sides down. So now it's not round anymore. It's kind of like straight, mm, straighter. Yeah. So, and it, it does look kind of weird. Like, I get cheesed anytime that that happens to me because that was not my intention. Mm. Honestly, yeah, I don't like the puff, the rat tail. Braids, it's very, very, very specific who I like it on. Like, I don't know. I'm just not... Some of the braids. It's giving anti-black. No, it's not because I do like braids. So God just rats. because I'm a dark-skinned yeah. man, you're telling That's me that That's not true because ASAP Rocky can texture? never go bald. ASAP Rocky's dark skin. Yeah, but look at his hair. He escrowed his hair from 14 years old. But that's his business. He, him changing hair has nothing to do with me. Allen Iverson. Iverson amazing. cut his hair for a while. I, Iverson was in the league with no For a little mm-hmm. bit. And then yeah, I was saying him with braids was chef. Like I'd, I'd prefer Allen Iverson with braids all the time. Mm-hmm. I'd prefer ASAP with braids all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, no. <laughs> Uh, genuine? Did you no? Genuine had a genuine little, had braids. No, he didn't. No, who am I thinking of? D'Angelo. D'Angelo had braids. D'Angelo did, with yeah. braids. I'll take it. I think so you're not it. opposed braids. You just don't, don't like. Braids yeah, or? I don't know. But now with all these niggas getting braids, I don't like it. I I don't mind it. I don't like it. It's not me. It's the new what braids. What else? Um, I don't like. You like when guys do the, the pop smoke braids? Depends. I don't on, like, love ha- those. They have to keep it very clean. I don't, I don't like when love they get it. too too long. Yeah, because they look like really scraggly at the ends. Yeah, and it just looking at it, I'm like, doesn't that irritate your body? I don't mind way? locks, but I don't love locks. It's okay. Like if he's good looking, he has locks. Whatever. Um, so if he's not good looking and he has locks, listen, you have to be good looking for a lot of. Things. I mean, yeah, yeah. a lot of things you'd be good looking for. Like it's just be real. I don't like completely bald heads, <laughs> like all the way bald, like shiny. So you'd bald. rather a bad hairline than bald. Nah, no. go bald. I'd rather bald. Go bald. <laughs> Be bald. I'd rather bald. But I don't like. I don't. People go. Oh, I love a bald man. I don't love a bald man. Like, yeah, I like a good looking bald man. Sure, but I'm not like. Oh God, I love a bald day. But I feel like that's <laughs> more. That's interesting. That's more grown bald. I don't think they mean. There's a lot of niggas. Fifteen year old Lamar Odom bald. bald. Like sixteen year old. Kobe a lot Bryant of y'all should bald. be going bald. Maybe at you. this age. Yeah, for sure. Your hairline but I mean, is this starting age. to recede. Shouldn't be or should no be? should be. Yeah, it's about that time. No, I mean only if you need to, and some men and just need like to. just just go bald. Like think, yeah. LeBron could have went bald. All that extra. Oh yeah, LeBron could have went bald he didn't long do all that. time. But ago. All he's still patchy in the back. Like, what was yeah. the point? But LeBron there's a difference, though. I get why some people hang on to it because usually if you go bald, it works better if you have like a full beard or like hair somewhere else. LeBron to has a full it. beard. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But like, if you don't really have like, if I went bald right now, I would look crazy. Because my whole head would just look like an almond joy. <laughs> a what? You? An almond joy. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Like the chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> you see the thing on Twitter about the, if you leave your babies laying on their back too often, it'll shake yeah, like yeah. Their, the back of the head's flat. Not enough tummy Bro, time. This yeah, is not, yeah, okay, yeah. I won't lie. This is not. <laughs> I, can't <laughs> say, I don't want to get canceled. Yeah. I don't want to get canceled. What? Go ahead. Because someone, <laughs> can I never post, said it. Fine. I never said it. But I, I get it because someone said Ghanians never saw this post because <laughs> a lot of Ghanian men have. A lot it's of, actually wild how you can almost sometimes tell where someone's from by their head shape. A lot of Ghanians have, especially Ghanian men, have very flat heads at the back. I don't know. If, it's not a bad thing. But a lot of Ghanian men have very flat heads. So maybe Ghanians weren't doing tummy time too much. Maybe. Their or maybe it's just, just, maybe like. It's just a part of like their genetic makeup, but uh, yeah, a lot of Ghanaian men, it's flat. But I won't lie, I, the, I have the little black boy head shape. Like you if I ever go have, bald, I have it. Like, like yeah, the, me too. The, 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 the peanut, in the, back, the, the peanut, peanut in the back. Head. I have a peanut in the back. Yeah. Like if I thank you. If I go me bald, too. I'm having like the you know the peanuts well, why would in proud you family. Have to go bald. I don't know. Go bald. I was bald no, for a while. No, no, I won't go bald. It's fun. No, not me. But I I also do genuinely think that like the person you are helps your look. Like I'm not you, like to go you bald. could go bald. I would see that. I could be like, okay, like yeah, I've been, I've been, I mean, like I wasn't fully, fully bald. No, I wasn't oh. fully bald. Like I was like a one, maybe like a two on top. Like I was, it was short. Like I was like a zero to a like a fade. Like it was short, short. Damn, when was this? Because your hair is really long right now. Uh, I actually just started growing it for the past like maybe five years. But oh, okay. Yeah, it. My hair was gone for a very long time. And it used oh. to be like I just I scared the shit out of my mom. My hair was like down to my ass. Really? And then I just went out one day and I came back and my hair was gone. My mom Damn. was like, "What the fuck did you do?" I was like, "I was 
Yeah, no, I can't go bald. That's one yeah. thing about me. I'm not going bald. I can't go bald. Why not? Wear wigs till you tell us back. See what happens. Just oh. cut it short. Do like a pixie. I hate a wigs. pixie would be cute. No, a pixie would not be cute. I have the little black boy head shape. So it's just. <laughs> Let's do it. It's just not. And your gonna head would look like a PT cruiser. You know the. <laughs> okay, bitch. What? Yeah. <laughs> got some what? A PT? How does that? Wow. That was so specific. You know the little peanuts in Proud Family? That's what my head would look like. Yeah. <laughs> PT well, you know cruiser. yourself. It's okay. Yeah. What's next on the docket? Uh, we have the ask the cast questions. The first one, actually, I feel like this is not an ask. I feel like this is something that you put in the document about. Actually, I'm going to read it because I'm like, I don't know what the fuck this means. I don't know if it's ask the cast. But it's what are your specific degrees of separation when it comes to seeing slash having sex with someone? I didn't put Wait, that. what do you mean? Yeah. That's definitely a you question. Yeah. Like, <laughs> on, honestly, oh, I think good. we kind of did this conversation uh, like Half an hour ago, like with the oh, exes. did we? Oh, like, with the exes. like proximity, oh. you know. What do you mean? So basically, are you saying like, if I met a girl and she's your ex, would I date her or would I hook up with her? Yeah, things type, like that. Kind of like, like that. Um, I was in a situation where like I was like started talking to somebody and then like found out that they had been with somebody that was like like close to me, like I knew them like really well, and it kind of like put me off. Okay, and I'm kind of like, is that? Some people say, oh, that's insecurity. And some people are just really okay with being so. mixy and everything. And it's like, where do you draw the line? I it, think if it's someone you consider a close friend, then your feelings are warranted. Then a friend. I, it, you know, we did this with like the heavy lifting that friend, that word does, you know? People just call the people they're fucking friends. Well, if they're not a close friend, then you're, you have no reason to feel weird about it. Yeah. No, but I get it though. I feel like people be making me feel weird about at feeling the, weird about that. You no, know, like, at it, the end of the day, realistically, it is immaturity. But I feel like we are allowed. We are allowed a level. I, I said insecurity. Man. I don't think it's insecurity. I think it's immaturity. But I Probably. think we are allowed a level of immaturity. Yeah. Because realistically, if Clyde's ex is the love of my life. Okay. And the only reason that I'm not dating her is because it's his ex and I feel weird. That's not a good reason. I think so. If she's I an don't. amazing person. Mm -hmm. it, well, I think it depends on your relationship with the person. And I think it also depends on what their relationship was. So, like, let's say you were dating someone and, like, she was, like, your everything. Like, it was, like, it, you know? And then it ended. And then you guys are good friends and you know that that person was his everything. Like you were around. Too. Yeah, yeah. Like that's different. Yeah, if th it's someone context. that you, there's always contacts. If there's mm -hmm. someone that you're just dating and like, it didn't work, you dated whatever you were like together for like six months, even a year, maybe who knows, whatever. It just wasn't for you. You're going to like, and they're like, yeah. you know, I'm not, I don't give a shit. Yeah. It didn't work for me. Please yeah. have the best time of your life. I hope you're happy. Even like and with your best friend. Yes and no. Like, yes, my best friend and I, but, like, we don't like any of the same types of people. So, like, mm -hmm. it would never happen. Yeah. But, like, if it's someone that wasn't important in my dating, in my, like, the bigger realm of my dating life. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Like, it didn't work. What am I holding on to? Yeah. And what do I, I care time, about? I think time length matters, too. Time matters, too. Like, like you can't, say like, that same proximity. situation. It was your everything. If you broke up with her a year ago, there's no way I'm talking to her. But if it's 15 years in the future and I link up with the girl that was your everything, at this point, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I know people, a situation where the guy is currently dating a girl and that girl dated his cousin in high school. To me, I don't think it's that deep because I'm like, okay, high school, high school. and y'all are like fucking 40. That doesn't matter. But the the cousin apparently felt a way about it. I mean, I guess sometimes, too, it also depends on how it's, like, brought up in the situation. Like, if you know that this is someone's cousin, but, like, they don't know that the connection's there and you don't tell them, but you know. No, she knew. She knows their cousins. No, no, no. I'm saying, like, if she knew, right? Yeah. But she didn't communicate that to them and then, like, just let it happen to, like, come out at, like, the family reunion oh, when you come and visit. Yeah. Like, that's fucked up. You should probably mm. be like, by the way, I dated your cousin in college. Like, I don't know how you feel about that. Or in yeah. high school, whatever. Yeah. But I just think, like, I think we just need to talk about shit. 
Mm, talk fair. about stuff like you don't you don't know until you ask somebody right that is very true so it's like hey i like you you like me okay you happen to date this person maybe we should go talk to that person and see if they're cool if they're not then like okay if they are cool i feel like we're just like the city's too small at this point like really? the city is too small you're almost it's like it's almost impossible to not not it's not almost impossible because it is still big but like also it's Depending on the circles you run in, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, very easy to it's buck easy up with to somebody buck up with somebody <laughs> that's been with someone that you are cool with or been. I with. mean, cool with and friends with two different things. Like I said, if it's one of my actual friends, then I won't touch. Like if my friend, like I've always said, like my friend has been with someone or has had sex with someone, I'm not gonna touch it. And see, that's even a different conversation. I was talking about dating. If you're just talking about just sex, that's definitely immature. I don't give a shit. That's definitely immature. I've given, if we I've given just, girls the whole facts on niggas. I've like, you want to have sex with him? He's good at this. He's good at this. He's good at that. He's not good at this. Here I think go. it's immature. Oh I'm not care. saying I'm above it. Like, I fall victim to that, too. But technically speaking, it's just immature. If a girl has sex with Clyde and I really, really like her and I'm only not going to be with her just because she had sex with Clyde in high school, that's immature. What if it was, like, two months ago? Ugh. <laughs> Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. but my thing is, okay. TC is your best friend. Mm-hmm. You would fuck any girl. TC is fucked. Nah, but I would talk. I would have to talk to him about it, though. I'd have to be if I knew, and I'm like, yo, are you cool? Are we talking about who, someone who has his ex, or just I know that he smashed her? He smashed her. And I just want to smash, or I want to date her. If I just want to smash too, that literally that, that means <laughs> nothing. Like, I think girls are more territorial with their Maybe. bodies. To than me, men. I just don't, like. I I've never had the desire or like curiosity to fuck anyone that my friend has been with. Like, I don't care. Just Even like if they're a, attractive too, I'm like, I don't, I generally don't. There's too much dick in this world for me to be fucking the same guy. Like, I why? Know. I think I with, feel you. Yeah, yeah I guys like, guys, oh, yeah, I want to fuck him too. I just, I don't need no, to. No, that energy's weird. But also yeah. like, if, like if we're in, if we're talking about just like escapades, yeah. you know, you're like, yeah, I was with this guy 10 out of 10 would recommend and then they go and do it. Like, have fun. Like, I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I feel like with guys, it's different because guys throw lobs way more than girls throw lobs. Yeah, yeah. So if if he even was like with getting someone, head from like the head monster, oh, come on. I don't like that. I don't. I've so done it before, and I don't like it. it. So you wouldn't date someone that your friend got head from? They didn't even have sex with them. You ate my friend out? Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, because no, no. now you know what my friend's you. pussy tastes like. Now I bring out my friends, and you know you. It, it's weird to me. Date? How long ago? Date Dojo Sora, and now like we're at a games night, and now I know you ate her pussy. How long ago? I don't know. That time. It does, I don't know. I think time matters. What's your degree of separation? Yeah, like what's your specific? I don't touch anything my friends have touched. Okay, simple. Period. I can't do it. And there's certain guys like there's this situation. Like I said, I've told the story before. Where like one guy was like, "Oh yeah, he's really good at giving head." And I'm like, "Okay, I did." I'm like, I don't really like that. I did that. And she was even my good friend like that. It was just a girl I kind of like talked. She's like, "Oh yeah, you should get head from him." Blah blah. blah. And I was like, "Okay." And then I got it. Then happened. I was like. Pfft. I didn't need to do that. <laughs> I did not need to do that. I could have. I'm not big on. Yeah, I could have used my fucking. I caught a couple, but like it just it's not my. Yeah, you know, I mean I get it. Yeah, it could be know? sticky. Like it, it's. Yeah. it's, it's it can be weird, but I think yeah. also too like. And if eventually. Like, yeah. you, but if you do, my thing is okay. If I talk to a guy, and I don't fuck him, and like say him and my friend meet online, and they, th- th- I don't care about that. That is fine. Maybe it's a sex thing for Wait, me. Wait, so what about the opposite? Opposite. So if you smashed a guy and then your friend smashed him in the future, no, are you mad what? at her? Once the smashing is involved, yeah. there's no doubling. Why? Because I just don't like no, it. No, not you. I'm talking about your friend. If you smash him first and she smash him after, do you feel the type of way that she smashed him? Not that really. That has nothing to do with you at I all. I mean, not really, but it's That like- is pride. That's ego. Yeah, you're trying to claim him. I'm not trying to claim him, but you're like claiming girl, him because you, do you don't even want him, and I she can't have him. Why'd you do that? Actually, I feel like I mean, there's certain guys who I, gen- I actually won't lie. There's certain guys who I wouldn't care. I won't lie. There's some guys who like, yeah, okay, <laughs> go ahead. Like, yeah, if you you did that, like, oh damn, you did that. I wouldn't actually. You're right. I wouldn't care. But certain guys like don't. Yeah, no. But why? Because you're not. No. He's not yours anymore. <laughs> That's the part that I don't understand with girls. You'll probably yeah. grow to that, to be honest. That's the part I was that, like that before. There's but. certain... You mean just sex? Even that, yeah. There's certain... If or, it's just sex, whatever. But guys I've actually liked? No. No, but that's even... No. Like, that I would debate that that's even worse than sex. 
Cause as why a guy, would I want I my friend like, to fuck a guy I actually had feelings for that didn't work out? No, but see, but that's the thing. I hate that, bro. And I know you've been. I feel like every guy's been. I'm a this little situation. confused on what you. If you, you meet a girl, <laughs> and she rocks with you, and mm. she's about rocking with you, but she's like, I can't rock with you because my friend liked you. What does that have to do with anything? No, L- like, we're, like, did they, we? Okay, listen. Like I said, yeah, if I right. liked him. And we had sex, and we were like a thing. No, my friend cannot touch that. But there's a, a big spectrum of that. You could like me, and we could have sex and not be a thing at all. Yeah, I still don't like I it. I fucked up friend groups like that with you. <laughs> <laughs> if you just, okay, my thing is if you, for example, if I just liked a guy and time passed not liking me more, I don't care. If I liked him and we had sex, I care. Why? Because we had sex. And I liked him. So, see, but that's what I'm saying. Why are you claiming this man that you, that is not with you anymore? he was in my coochie. But what does that have to do with, uh, I get if you're on the, the secondary <laughs> end. I didn't get the horse. <laughs> what? Like, I didn't get the, the, the stuffed horse. I get if me. you're on the secondary end. Like, he smashed your friend first and you don't feel comfortable because he smashed your friend. But... You smashed him first and you don't like that your friend is smashing him after you and you're done? That has nothing to do with I don't you. like it. I still don't like it. So I'm not a friend. I don't care. If, if there were feelings there and I smashed, I don't care. If I liked him and we didn't really do anything, I don't care. But once feelings and sex mm. are involved, I don't think friends should be du- dip, double dipping. I feel like as a man, a lot of us, we're not hearing that. Unless it's a, I will ask my friend like, yo, like, who was she to you? If you tell me, yo, like, so I really TC, liked her. No, if TC liked a girl yeah. and had sex with her. And she's like, yo, I don't really vibe what you fuck with. You're going to be like, yo, TC, you're fucking wasting you all. No, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I would ask. If he tells me he's uncomfortable with it, then I won't do it. Okay, cool. But and I'm telling you I'm uncomfortable with it. So what if it, what if it happened first, though, that you didn't know? I'm uncomfortable still. It's like, okay, <laughs> I won't do it again, but it happened already. <laughs> But that's why, I don't know, that's why there, there's a balance. Because it's like, you're not really supposed to talk about your sex life with other people or with your friends. But to a certain degree, you kind of have to to get like a... I we talk be, about yeah, my sex life with my friends. We be given the facts. See, but you we guys are allowed that luxury. We're, we get called chatty patties. Well, you need to start creating safe spaces amongst your friends. <laughs> I'm talking about these things. I don't know what we're supposed to do about that. Creating Facebook pages saying if we're... Uh, oh, yeah, so are we dating oh the same God. man? That is just childish behavior. Oh, that's, that's because childish. it is. It is. Communication. To post due it, diligence. Like me, yeah, to post it in a group of hundreds of people like, hey, I'm talking to this guy. Any of y'all talk to him? That's crazy. That's nuts. Like, that's, that's nuts. nuts. Yeah. And that's just bad mind waiting to happen. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, go yeah. through mixy. the process because yeah. someone, like, you're going to find out. You are. And what if someone's lying? What if it's someone's ex who's like, yeah, I'm still fucking him and they're exactly. not? Exactly. Exactly. Or whatever. Like, it's, that's a mess. And it's a who mess, are you going to believe? Mess, this mess, random mess. person or me? Oh, I hate oh, that I hate line. that line. I hate oh! that line. I don't know. No. Oh! Oh! Wow. I hate that line. I hate that line too because it is so manipulative. There's so many instances <laughs> where there's no reason for someone God to lie. Damn. About it. But then there's also no, instances where there <laughs> are people who are weird enough to lie about exactly. it. Exactly. Some but people lie out of thin you, air. But you but you just gotta, soar. You gotta that? maneuver I've that. Been in, I've been ah, in a situation like that. I hate it. I've who you believe there. this girl with me? Ah! I don't believe either of you, actually. I want fuck to like both literally, you. yeah, fuck both of you. But I've literally been in a I have literally been in a situation like that. <laughs> Me too. Where Me too. a girl that I was, you know, rocking with, another girl came to her and she was like, Yeah, oh um, yeah, um Trezor still likes me and we've been moving like we're together for the last couple of years and he basically like he's still in love with me. There's and so then she much came to say? me. She came okay. to me and told me that and I'm like, yo. So you're telling me you are going to believe oh, this God. random drunk woman that you met today over me. There's so much more you can say other than that line. Mm-hmm. Well, but it's the so truth. Much in, that, in that situation, so no, much, you really are on the right. In that situation, in that situation what else? I would, well, who was she to I'm you? Like, yo, she's lying. But who was she to you? Why was she saying that? 
Which one? The first like, girl? Like, no, this, this random girl who came to me. Like, we had a thing before. Okay, so all you can say is, yo, her, her and I had a thing before. We don't speak anymore. Yes, She's lying. But, but the fact. But don't do that. So who you can believe? Me or her? No, but, that's, but you say that like, afterwards. No. After I already told you, yo, that, that's not true. We, had a, we didn't have a thing. And then you're still Usually on some, them. I don't yeah. believe me. Then I'm going to say, you, why are you going to believe this random girl that you just met if I'm telling you this is the situation? Just allow them to believe what they want to believe at that point. But that question is just triggering. I like, hate that question. That question is super triggering. You really don't believe this girl. I but like, yeah, you want like a random that, win? I was with you last night. <laughs> like, okay. Because, like, at the end of the day, like, niggas be lying, too. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, and that's the true. fucked up part. Because, like, most of the time, they pull that out after they know they've been lying their asses off for, yep. like, 87 fucking yep. other things. And then they want to pull the, well, why are you going to believe them? It's like, well, because you lied to me yesterday about something. So I get that. I get it. I get it. Because obviously, why are you going to believe some random person over me? But like, just just deliver it, just it sucks, differently. It just sucks when you're not lying. Yeah. Because <laughs> like, yeah. it's no, like, you. what I else you. do I you say you. other than I'm not lying? Then just, all right, believe them then. And yeah. But that. you can't say that either. I mean, you, it, but then that's when you have to kind of reconcile with the situation. It's like, okay, do I want to continue the argument? And whatever. Do I want to let them think I'm a liar? And if that's the case, if you think I'm a liar, you're going to think I'm a liar. What am I doing here? Because I think that's how li- I think that's how liars are. They do more than they should to try and convince people of their lies. So if Absolutely. I feel like I'm overcompensating to try and convince you of something, then it's like now hey. we're in this room and <laughs> that's a sticky line. Okay, you know that's a sticky line because actually no, I get it because like some girls it. definitely want you to over like oh like what do you want me to believe that? Well, I'll tell you Allah. But then some guys are like, bro, like I'm not like I already told you once. If you don't believe me, like yeah, because you guys say that that's triggering too. If I just say believe what you want to believe, is that worse that's than worse. who that's you're gonna believe me or her? Ah! They're both believe bad. what you want to believe. Think- is. I think <laughs> I hate believe what you want to believe, too. Niggas just got to learn how to talk to each other. Yeah. That's all. Like, we all just got to learn how to fucking talk to each other. Words mean something! <laughs> like, Words mean <laughs> something, but I think some people just, you know what it is? I feel like people just need to heal, bro. For sure. People need to heal right. because you're taking your past traumas Absolutely. To me, I agree with that. And I genuinely didn't do yeah. anything. But and now you created this whole story in your head. But then that's where communication comes in because if someone has the like the verbiage or the understanding to be like understanding is their trigger and be like, listen, I don't know if you're lying or not. I'm basing this off of X, Y, Z to at least give context. So maybe you know where they're coming from. And then maybe you can talk to them deeper. Like, okay, I get why you feel that way. But mm-hmm. like, this is really what's going on. I'm not lying. I can't make you believe whatever, whatever. But this is what it is. Then at least that person like, you know, has a moment. But I but feel like you that's gotta, a very fairy tale situation. Like you are talking from the position of two people that are very emotionally aware and very good communicators. That's usually not the dynamic. Mm-hmm. No, I know that. And that's why I'm saying if we would just learn how to communicate at the very least, if you can at least communicate what you're feeling in the moment when you're feeling it, or even like later on down the road, you, you might be able to avoid some things and then emotional awareness might come from that. But, like, if you're just, if you, you can't speak on shit, then, like, it's always going to be this. And it's always going to be, like, yeah. It's always going to be tense. It's always going to be, like, well, I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know what they're feeling. I don't know if I say this, they're going to feel a certain way. But, like, if you come off the rip just communicative as much as you're comfortable with, as much as you can be, and tell the person, listen, like, I want you to try to be the same with me so that there's no fucking questions and, like, weird shit, then, like, just do your best. Yeah. It's important to discuss your also your past trauma so people know. But or not your too, past, too much. Not too much, but, like, okay, like, you know, <laughs> oh, well, this situation happened, so that's why I kind of reacted this way. Whatever. I mean, like, sometimes I like to hear that stuff. Because, like, okay, like, you're kind of wild, man. It's like, oh, well, you know, I've been cheated on before, whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. So I can understand that. But this is, this is what I'm telling you happened. This is the absolute truth. I understand why you feel this way, but this is it. But at what point is that a crutch? Just for you to tweak on me. No, you can't. No, you, you can't. can't. It you has can't. to be like maybe once, twice max. After that, you got to fix it. You yeah. got to fix it. Because if you're saying it out loud, then that means you know what's happening. Yeah. So you if you know what's yeah. happening, then you have to continue to address it in the moment when it's happening because you're aware enough to know that this is happening. Exactly. So then if after you talk about it, you continue to then keep doing it, like then now that's, it's a, like, that's a decision yeah. to just fucking slap me in my face and yeah. tell me to like it. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I mean, sometimes Basically. you do, but like, you know what I mean? Like, it just depends. I don't like getting slapped in the face. No? No. Has a girl ever slapped you in the face? You like, look like you've gotten slapped during in the face. sex? Yeah. yeah. Sexually, no. Have you, you ever slapped like a girl in the face sexually? 
No? Yeah. No, no I haven't. Choked. Yeah. Okay. That's normal stuff. But the slap in the face. It's I like the like dick a, slap in the face. Oh, my God. Sorry, family. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my God. All this word vomit. Let's end the episode. That was very Sorry, bald. That was crazy. I mean, I get it. I don't know why I said I that. I just tweet, you should guys see how the episode ends. <laughs> just so everyone goes to that part. Because she won't let us make a clip out of that. I, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind it, actually. <laughs> but for me, the first time that I did that, it was... It was kind of awkward. Oh, I've done it because I was caught off guard. Did but, you like? But no, but I'm the I'm the type of person where I'll do what you ask me to do. I will wouldn't you? necessarily because you're not do eating it. ass. So that's different. Eating it's ass not, is a different thing, though. That is way different. That is a very specific to the person. Okay. Like you need to know. Okay, that is way fine. different. Go ahead. But not, what I was saying is, I'm not eating a one night stand's ass if they ask me to. Fair. Crazy. Simply that no. That is kind of wild. <laughs> Simply no. I don't know. What, I don't know. I No. That's fair. Sorry, That's fair. go on. That is kind of wild. <laughs> he just hates oh, it all the way. That's why I know his teeth. I was going to say, I, I've, I've never done it, so I can't eat. But you will one day. <laughs> I feel like you'll... Yeah. You will. But, yeah, so, we were doing the shucky ducky. Right. And she was like, smack me. I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> she was like, yeah. I was like, okay. Give her a little bop, right? <laughs> and then she and then she was like, no, harder. I was like, are you sure? <laughs> Stop asking, are you sure, nigga? She's telling you to do it. I was like, okay. <laughs> Put a little bit more strength into the second one. Bop. Bop. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know if, like, you're supposed to keep going or you, you just mean? stop. After that, you just stop stroking. No, I mean with the s- <laughs> oh, oh, with the slaps. I just stopped just continuously slapping, or you <laughs> over and over like and over. I don't. Yeah, I didn't think. You, I don't That's think fine. you're supposed to continuously slap. It's like once in a while, you know, yeah, you like a when you're requested. No, it's not when I, you, gotta you mix have it to in. do things. Mix like, it in. Yeah, you got to mix it in. So once you know I like it, yeah, you got to like, like surprise, surprise and delight me with it. <laughs> Private but then what's the, the marketing term for the slap in the face? <laughs> like if I like getting spat in my mouth and you know that, niggas sprinkle it somewhere yeah, in here. You know, just, you know? A, just a, I don't have to tell you all the time spit in my mouth. So you know I like you it though, so, you know? You know? Do it. Do it here. Do it there. Right. So now if you ever fuck that girl again, you know, smack her in the face. I probably <laughs> won't. But did you not like slapping her in the face? No, that wasn't the issue. It's just <laughs> that, was, that was a past life. Okay, no. understood. Yeah. But I mean, hear you. Well, our last question for the Ask the Cast is, uh, yeah, our little Ask the Cast segment is if we've ever dated anyone in the entertainment industry, like promoter, DJ, whatever, and what was it like? And if we haven't, would we ever? I haven't, and I would never because I've just seen certain guys who work in the industry, and it's like. I don't like that. And I know they have girlfriends, and it's like, I don't like that. I don't like what I'm seeing. Like, isn't it her birthday? Why isn't she here? Like, there's certain things where it's like, you know, like, I just don't like, I don't know. It's not my, it's not, no, not for me. Yeah. I and don't. then, like, you too many, like, the promoters, and then you're like, you know, girls are trying to use you. D- I, I can maybe date a DJ, maybe. DJs. Not a shit DJ, obviously. Oh, yeah, no. They're bad. <laughs> I could probably date a good, maybe a good DJ. Maybe. Wait. Quick side segment. What? Could you date someone that is bad at what they do? No. No. That would be tough. Just it I have to, I have to so tell you. I have to tell you, and I don't know how that's going to go in our relationship moving forward. Because, like, how am I supposed to help you be better if you're shit? Yeah. Like, I can't. What I, if they're I, successful at it, though? Successful at being they're shit. They're successful, but they're bad. Oh. oh. That is Scotty Scratch. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this man? Yeah, <laughs> Getting strays <laughs> all four seasons. I was calling him out a long time ago. Um, it's uh, Like, you know that they're terrible, but somehow they hit a lick and it's working. I would have to express that. I wouldn't that be able to sit like on it. it. I, would have to, I would have to make it be known. Like, listen, I'm happy this is working for you, but I... Don't like it. Like yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to be involved. Yeah. Like good for you. You wouldn't be on the sidelines cheering. No. I'd be on the sidelines, not cheering. I have a hat on. 
in sunglasses. I'll be there. I'll be backstage. <laughs> yeah, or, like, I'll be wherever. there. Like I'll be there like, to support. But I'm not gonna like. Corner. I'm not gonna pretend. But I'm not. Like you know that it. video of the, of the the white guy dancing beside the white guy? Like, turn it, that's not me. If you're shit, that's not me. I can't. I can't pretend. How do you pretend? Yeah, I I messed with a girl that was like a singer songwriter or whatever, and she. I feel like one of the reasons why I grew not to like her was because <laughs> her songs were bad. <laughs> kind of put me off, you know. Like really, her songs were bad. Like when was she's her singing, voice bad? when she's singing, you'd cringe. No, like, it oh. wasn't. No, it wasn't like that bad. It's just you're not like the that, lyrics are shit. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it wasn't good songwriting. <laughs> kind of like just, give us a t- give us a sample. No, I just like, I felt like I could write it better, and it's like what I'm not out of music. What, what were some of the bars? The lyrics. I remember her saying, like, you feel like summer. So she, like, compared it to, like, a, yeah. You feel like. She kept comparing how she felt to a season. And I remember being, like. She thought she was getting that off. Yeah. <laughs> she thought she was eating, and it, and it just wasn't. I feel like summer, but I'm cold like winter. What if she's, like, a bad, like, model? <laughs> Ooh, could you like she walks like this. Down yeah, the like could you date a bad model? That I that hasn't happened to me. Or I'm could you saying. date and, like a mo- like an aspiring model, but it's just not like it's not hitting. Like no one's picking her up. She's not getting booked. Like, but her just her yeah. IG's filled she, with like these professional photos. But like, and she is bad. But it's like, yeah. But who? It depends. I could definitely be with someone aspiring to do something. There's a lot of if models good, who are not actually models. If they're, like, if they're taking the proper steps to advance and they're good, I could do it. Okay. If she's not good or she's just, like, joking, I can't do what it. What if she's not good but she has, like, mad, like, the, like those Toronto, like, lingerie shoots on her page because no. she thinks it's... No, it. no, 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 no. Because then you're not really trying to be a model. You're trying to be on six baddies. <laughs> Six Angels. Yeah, or whatever it's called. Oh, no. <laughs> like, if you're really trying to be a model, you have to be showing me that you're actually trying to be a model. You can't yeah, just and, be, and these pictures are going to help me get seen. How? No, they're not. <laughs> get 72 some, likes, get my some, girl. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> how about you pay the money and get some real headshots and go actually try to get signed to a, a real agency? That's funny. Okay. But what if she's signed to the agency and they're not booking her? Well, that's she, not your fault. It's not working out. Yeah. yeah, you just have to try to. But when do you tell your partner maybe it's time to pivot to a know. different industry that's or area is of she, business? Is she good. If you're good, I would never tell you to quit because you're okay. good. Like you can actually make it. It's different if you suck. But that's some good. people are good and don't make it. Yeah, that but happens all the time. time. That does happen all the time, but there has to be a reason why. That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying, like, when do you tell them? Like, if you know that, like, okay, my partner's great, but he's not going to make it. I when do I maybe, like, start being, okay, like, you know, maybe we should look into this. Maybe we should try this. As soon as I'm over it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> as soon as I'm done being backstage <laughs> pretending, <laughs> I would tell him you got to find someone else. Yo, like, I don't know. Like, let's, let's work on Like, imagine else. he's always, like, doing rap shows but it's like 20 people and it's always 20 people for like two years just third album you gotta stop him da- you just gotta sit him down like you just yeah i don't know i don't it's a hard conversation it is very hard it, it depends on but i feel like everyone needs to you know like for example if we were doing this podcast and like we were not like we were, all, we're still at like maybe like you know 100 fault like we were not growing at all i feel like i'd be like okay <laughs> Yeah. Nah, but see, but we that's the thing. Not necessarily. It. Sometimes things well, you take can't time. Say that. That's what I'm saying. True, you can't too, say that because if we're doing the podcast and we have 50 listeners, but is this like, do we all genuinely believe that this is good content? If it's good, you have to keep going because eventually, like, it's and you just hit. figure ways to to build. Yeah. If you're stuck at 50, you're doing something wrong. Whether the content's not good or your marketing is not good. It's one of the two. Okay. There's no way you're just going to be stuck at 50 and you're actually good. Like, that's just not possible. Okay. Market yeah. yourself properly. And if you're good. Because I had a friend like that. One of my homies that um, that lives in London. That he actually just got his deal. His record deal. When I met him, like, in 2018, his music was crazy. Like, his music was amazing. But his just marketing was terrible and i told him yo bro if i had your talent i would be out of here so sometimes you just have to change one little thing like you just have to figure out right. what you're doing wrong and fix that but some people they they don't want to hear that they I just mean, think I that you that. could do something one way i'm an artist well get over it 
word. What what did Fifty Cent say? We you, you want to be an artist stuck in your playing music in your crib, or do you want to sell yeah, out yeah, shows? Yeah, yeah, I know the clip you're talking about. Mm. I mean, I hear it, but I I like I'm the person that eventually I'm gonna be like, okay, let's like let's maybe keep doing this, but let's maybe tap into <laughs> accounting. Try something maybe else. producing. Try different avenues. Maybe you maybe you're good. Maybe you're a very good writer, but you know, your voice doesn't hit. Maybe let's write for somebody else for now. And then maybe we can come back to you being an artist a little bit later. Mm-hmm. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine your girl said that to you. <laughs> but I'm a, I, you gotta be you, that honest that, person. Yeah. Like Someone's I'm sure if like, like come I back said, to this a little bit later. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Like imagine well, I mean people have told you, Oh my god, you're a little podcast, but then obviously you know, the podcast. As a male podcaster, it doesn't matter how many followers we have. Like, yeah, every day, as soon like, as you Yeah, the connotation on. with Take away mics from all the men. <laughs> <laughs> Ban men speaking. Ban men's podcast and men speaking. Some why right. do men <laughs> <laughs> they don't care about their opinion. Why do men speak? Well, because when they do, look at what they say. Sometimes men be saying crazy shit. But it's not Especially fair. the ones with it's the mics in fair. front of them. But it's not fair because women do it just as much. We do it too. I won't lie. Just as it much. But they're always agreeing with men. No. It's Y'all always be, the misogynistic views yeah. that are the ones that are like being complained about who also should not have mics in front of their faces. But but because misogyny. The, but because the ones when the women are talking foolishness, what they're usually talking foolishness about benefits women. So y'all don't care that they're talking foolishness. I mean, I care that they're talking foolishness, but at the end of the day, like it's still misogyny's fault. What? It's misogyny's fault that women are talking. So you're not you're not gonna beat misogyny. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because, because, misogyny. because like if they're talking about here? if they're talking about how to like be with men a certain way and like how to please men a certain way and how to do this for men a certain way or yeah. why are you acting this way if you know that you want to get chosen and right, tay, 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 and it's for yes. the benefit of women. That's the it's one still, side. Okay, what's the other? But what side? about the other side of the the girl who is like? I'm not working. My man needs to have four jobs to buy me anything I want. It's still misogyny and patriarchy's fault because we were raised to believe that the men has to take care of the home. We it's not our fault our grandparents you're, you're couldn't not gonna beat misogyny, It's not our bro. fault grandparents could not like our grandmothers couldn't get credit cards and then they taught our mothers to rely on the men to pay all the bills because that's the way it was and then our mothers were like, Okay, well these niggas gotta pay your bills if they so wanna mean something. What happened to breaking the cycle she's and not, accountability? She's not wrong. But what happened to the accountability and breaking the cycle? We That's are like, breaking the cycle. That's why we have our own money. And we demand that y'all have the same amount that we do. But then yes. when we have our own money and we do all of this ourselves, and it's like, oh, well, women are trying to be too masculine. So it's like, what do you... No, but I'm talking about that same do? specific group of people that say the my man needs to have four jobs and I don't, I'm not paying for nothing because I'm a woman and the man needs to provide for everything. It's what those the women same, were taught. It's what they were taught. They saw their grandfathers literally s- build their grandmothers a house from fucking stone. And yeah, then, it's what they're taught, or it's what they see. But that's not an excuse. I'm not saying it's an excuse, but I mean, that's... It sounds like you're making excuses for I that. don't, look like, to me, mm. I don't believe that. I, I don't, don't believe that at all, and that's not my view. But to me, to me, I think it's also Where is foolish. the take their mics away? That's I always what I'm say saying. Stop take, I always say these women need to stop talking. I mean, there's always women who need to stop talking. For sure. But at the end of the day, it's still the man's fault. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know who needs to stop talking? Be Simone. And we're going to leave it there. I don't, need, I still don't know what she said. Oh, fuck. Okay. Before we wrap this up. Anyways. Fuck. Rest in Sorry. paradise to... Oh, my God. Miss Jackie, Miss Jackie O. Jackie o. Sorry. So, Miss Jackie O was on Wild and Out. She's mm-hmm. also... Uh, was the partner of DC Fly. You know DC Fly? Yes, yes, yes. Was yes. the partner of DC Fly, and um, they have three kids together, mm-hmm. which is really, really sad because I lost my dad young. So losing your, like, she was 32. Mm-hmm. So, like, my dad also passed at 36. So it's like, like, when you leave your kids, like, that young, like, it's traumatizing. Yeah, so yeah. I really, really, really feel it for her kids. It's really fucked up. Um, but anyways, her and B. Simone were close friends, mm-hmm. right? Cool. B. Simone, I'm going to read it to you exactly what B. Simone posted because B. Simone is twisted in the brain she's very very she's like she's i never special. really followed her never really cared for her but when i saw this I'm like i had to go check because obviously you know, on twitter as you know i saw it on twitter check i had to go check myself and i can definitely so for those Simone, of you who don't know um miss jackie old passed away oh yes. i said rest in paradise was that not sorry i'm sorry if that wasn't clear i mean r.i.p yeah means, but, yeah you know, she passed but i literally said she passed away i'm like she left three kids was that not good? Anyways, okay, yes, she she passed away. Anyways, so her and B Simone were friends. Right. She's no longer with us. Right. B Simone posted a story on Instagram that says, "If you're not on my close friends, you're not going to see much of my life during this time," which we're assuming is about her grieving her friend's loss. Right. 
close friends, I love you. Thank you for being a safe space. Then post a link to join my close friends now. And when you click the link, it is subscribe to her close friends for $9.99 a month. I'm sorry. She's fucked. So like you- that, like I don't understand why that is like why? that. It, uh, there's no way to put it. It's extremely inappropriate. It's That's tacky. Gross. It's classless. It's it's disgusting. That's like disgusting. the way you're wording is making it seem like I'm grieving my friend, so I'm gonna be offline. But if you still want to see some stuff, Subscribe. pay for it. That's weird. That's weird and gross. That's that's gross. That's I don't. That's really gross. I feel like people get like this much clout and lose every brain cell possible. I don't think she had much to begin with. She but. had a little bit because she had some cosign. She had a lot of people, whatever. But she definitely has some pull. That's gross. But that that's f- when I saw that, I'm like, I literally, I mean, I'm like, I clicked the link to my social. Yo, there's no this. Video. I clicked the link. It was like subscribe to my close friends. It's like a selfie of her. And it's like nine ninety nine. I'm like, girl, that's fucked. <clears throat> that's foul. I think uh, creators like really understand the gravity of death on like social media, especially, mm-hmm. and use that. Yeah. To use that's it is what, gross. That's what artists do. Like, I seen this episode of Dave like, with Lil Dicky recently, and, like, the whole plot of the episode was that he died, and then he, like, or, no, the internet thought he died, and then he tried to fake his death as a marketing campaign to boost his streams. Jesus. You know? And it's, like, that, but that's what happens. Rappers die, and their streams go up, yeah, right? Yeah, like, I think yeah. creators really understand that, you know, and kind of use it for evil. I think that's very, I think there's no way to spin it. Like, that's just gross. Like and the, yeah. even if you were like the timing is gross, the wording is gross. You putting the link there is gross. Maybe you're not trying to. Mo- I don't. I would never go as far to say you're trying to monetize off your friend's passing, but it, it's very, very, very tacky. It feels like that. It feels. Like it does feel like that. But do. I don't want to really say it like that. But it's like what? Like I said, it's like it, it's. I don't. I don't like it. I don't. People are weird, man. And the people who people have so these big weird. platforms and access certain things are fucking weird. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just nasty. But I'm gonna leave it at that. Nasty word. I agree. It's dirty. Nasty word. That's bless. what she did. I meant to tell you that was your life that's, reaction. Yeah. <laughs> that's disgusting. Yeah, she's fucked. That's, I'm, that was, that's when I saw like that's super fucked. I didn't want to believe it, so I made sure I went on her page and it was still up and I clicked the link and everything and I was like, Oh, this girl's fucked. Like she's fucked for real. That's gross. That's gross. I and know. I hope people call her out on that. Like uh-huh. let like like these people are human beings. Like yes, they have millions of followers or whatever. At the end of the day, you are a human being and you have human relationships with certain people. If I'm anyone who has access to it, I'm like yo, whatever, like that shit you just did was fucked up. I hope people are calling her out because that is just not. Even if you didn't mean it like that, it came off that way and it looks nasty. I doubt it, but I hope someone does say something. And probably won't land even if they do. Don't me let me don't let me make it to Hollywood. I be calling motherfuckers out left, right, and center. May have moved the meter for her, and she may do some shit like that again. Like who knows? Like what the outcome was. That's very it's, fucked. Yeah, it's it's very good point, ugh. but also very fucked. <laughs> Anyways, gross, gross, gross. Very gross. But thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. <laughs> had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, had a great time. I'm Thanks. glad you. I mean, you were like the you started like podcasting in Toronto. You had Galcast small, Max. small years ago. Small, small. It was not small. It was it was not small. Exactly. It was not small. That was a yeah. lot. That was I, yeah. Was you had Galcast, which unfortunately you know but broke I feel down like, barriers. Yeah. It's, Would you ever get into podcasting again? Yeah. 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 Okay. Why not? Good. I, it's just it's different now. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna keep harping on being an old lady, but like. Yeah. You know, if someone were to set up the microphones, do all the shit for me, absolutely, one hundred percent. But like, if I have, like, I don't. Yeah, I feel, I don't it's a, if you don't have a team, like I say, if you don't have a team and people who like are dedicated, it's a lot of work. Yeah, like, yeah. Over the pandemic, I was really close to buying one of those mixers, and like, I have a mic at home, and I was just mm-hmm. gonna do it. But then yeah. I was like, I don't know that I really want to maintain it. Like, it's mm-hmm. a lot. So like, it big is up a lot. to you guys for coming here every week. Yeah, because I know it's hard. Like, yeah, and the topics and like all the shit. Like, I yeah, it's a lot. But you're doing a great job. I love thanks. it. Thanks. Great. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for it. having me. It's fun. Well, you know, I'm going to come to parties. Please just message me. And yeah. Come. <laughs> Catch me so what is the, oh, is there an etiquette for asking for free <laughs> invites <laughs> to parties? Yeah. yeah I just yeah. mean just How's in general. How's this going to go when, I, when you leave here, you know? I and know, then that slow jam gets in announced. In general, not specifically <laughs> for this party, but it could be included. But like, is there a way? Because I kind of feel weird. Like, I don't like asking right. for, for like, hey, can I 
come to this you. party for I free. Feel you. I feel you. I mean, I think it depends on your relationship with the person. Just be like, yo, just wondering, are there any comps? Yeah, if not, cool. Like, mm. you know, most times people probably throw you on the list. Like, it's not that deep. For a slow jam, like, it can get a little bit icky because, like, we always go over capacity. So, like, we have to, like, be really careful with how many comps we give out. Because mm. most times, like, with most parties, you can guarantee that if you s- if you sell, like, 300 tickets, you'll probably see two to 250 maybe 275 actually come if you're mm-hmm. lucky okay slow jam it sells out and every ticket is getting checked in like we don't yeah. have room to let like 30 people come in yeah so it just depends it depends on the party depends on the person i would just try and just ask and be like yo are there comps like not to be that guy but like <laughs> yeah that's yeah. The thing. i don't want to see like, <laughs> like just it is what it is like and also like most times i'm sure your friend will just give you the blight anyway just let them know and be like yo i'm trying to come I'm going to be like, hey, cashing in my one free admission to that slow jam. <laughs> <laughs> like a formal email. Hello. Nice to hear from you. I hope this email finds you well. Please see attached for Rebecca letting Please me know let me on know. this date that I had one free admission. As per our last so, podcast. As per our last, last conversation. podcast episode. Link here. <laughs> I am cashing in on my free. <laughs> free slow jam. Yeah. I think it just depends. Management. It just depends. <laughs> but like, yeah. But also, if your friends are new, pay. Yeah. Like, all my friends paid for everything that I did from the first, like, probably year and a half, two years. They never once asked for a guest list, ever. Definitely. So, you know. I hear that for sure. I agree with that. Unless it's $45. Yeah, I mean, (laughs) ticket prices are, like, I was charging $10. Like, it's different. Oh, I wouldn't. If everyone was like, oh, Tristor, stop. Anyway, stop. No, I didn't didn't say anything. (laughs) You better raise, like, like $10? Come on. No, I'm agreeing with you. Oh, okay. Because that face did not show agreeing with you. $10 Ten dollars on everything. When, uh, even twenty dollars, I'll do. Twenty five, I'll do. When I see it, so with the four, oh, when I see it with the five, I'm not. Gonna, <laughs> so it's with the four, tough. I'm like, okay. Five, I'm like, you have lost your damn mind. Six, get the fuck. Sixes. <laughs> if you're hitting the sixes, like I hope there's some food. There's involved. food, or give me at least drink tickets or something. a welcome beverage. Something. Something. I would like something. something even for if it's also the four, I want a welcome beverage. I'm go. <laughs> Get but then you got to arrive early enough for a welcome beverage. See, that's, the mind that. that's a joke. <laughs> that's a joke because like lots of times like people don't even show up early enough. Like I'll yeah. give out free liquor at the beginning. No one. Yeah, no one comes. No one come there. for the liquor and go home and come back. <laughs> that's fucked. That's fucked. If you live close enough, that's a good idea. Where's the venue? That's fucked. Um, anyways, yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. You're always great. welcome. Thank you. Everyone, go to Rebecca's party. She throws great parties. I always. When's the next one? Is there a date? Yeah. When is the next party? Slow jam. Slow jam or anything. Uh, slow jam is September something. Tickets are sixty percent sold out. So if oh, you're, fucking hell. If you're September, gonna, well, whole summer gone. We're working on another one for July, but it's not like in. It's not confirmed yet. Okay. We're still playing with that. So, but yeah. like the next confirmed one, September, which is sixty percent sold out. <laughs> so if you're gonna get your tickets, I would recommend going to that slowjamparty dot com and getting the tickets now because when you're on the wait list, I cannot do anything for you. Period. Um, but yeah, that's. The next slow jam. <laughs> wow, that was such a I don't know why that was so loud. My bad. I have a yeah. party on June seventeenth. I have a day party at Cold Tea on a oh, Saturday. Nice. Okay, and then we have verses coming up on June twenty fourth at Revival. The Movado versus Movado vibes. versus yeah mm. yeah. Um, we have that on June twenty fourth, and then my monthly Cold Tea on Saturdays is the first Saturday of every month. Yeah, and then of course Cozy Caravana is August third. There's a whole bunch. Yeah, There's just a lot follow of shit her. Happening. There's a lot of shit happening. Just follow her and keep up with it. Because, I mean, the parties are good, so. That's a good time. That's good. And I w- I'll probably feed you f- free liquor if you're there. Yeah. So. There you go. It's always a vibe. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, thank you for coming. This has been episode 12. What are we, four, four, four back-to-back episodes? Period. Come on, consistency. We're on a, sh- we we're on a, we're on a good streak. Listen. We're on a good streak. Good. Love that. We're on a good streak. Love that. I know that's right. But, anyway, thank you for listening to episode 12 of Relentless Diaries. We made Ho Zoe. We're out. Yeah. Oh, my nose has been running. These allergies are fucking me up.